Okay. You know, just sort of memory linking your past a little bit with this person so you know that I'm on the right lines. Um, you know, um, you, you, um, you know, you've had some fun, you've had some good times with this person and, and you know, you know the, the seaside and the beach and the car, uh, the, the, the silver Mercedes, you know, and so on and all these things um, that you've had enjoyments with, you, you, you know, um, you know, you, you know yourself that, you know, you've both changed, you've changed, you've got older and both of you um, and, um, you know, things do change. But what, what I'll say to you is that um, this person, this person does think of you, but not as much as you think of them. All right? so they, he does think of you, but not as much as you think of them. And I feel at the moment, he's going through a bit of a stage in his life, how can I put this into words, that he is not really wanting to settle and to be stable in a relationship. I feel as if he's going into a, a, a situation in his life where he wants to have fun, enjoyment, and wants to be a little bit sort of single-minded in his, in, in his mind a little bit. Um, although he's got to think of his age, he's got to think of where he is, got to think of lots of things. So I don't feel this person is the same person. I feel this person has changed, not in a positive way for you, but he does think about you. Um, you are going to hear through someone else about some of the things that I've said today. Um, in, in various ways you'll hear this. Um, thank you for coming through to the show. Love and light, yeah. What a, what a lovely. Okay, right, here we go. So, we're just gonna, I'm just going to give you a little bit of terms and conditions because although we're doing this and you're, and you're loving my company and I'm loving your company, everything's perfectly fine. And we're, we're, I'm, I'm very happy because I'm very busy with the text. We've had a few calls as well, so I'm happy. But the thing is, is this, we have to go through the terms, conditions, because this is for entertainment purposes only on the show, and things we can't talk about is fertility, legal legal matters, can't talk about that, um, health matters, and we can't talk about, most of all, financial matters. So all these things we cannot talk about, but everything else we can talk about on the show and tune into things for you here. So come through to us, and my pin number again, is 6652 and I'm available to take your calls. Now, remember this, I've got, a, I've got a, approximately on the show left about 13, 14, about 13 minutes, uh, you know, 14 minutes. So come through to me. If you want me, grab me now before I vacate into, uh, you, you, you know, the next time I'm here, um, which is on Monday. So think about that, okay? Right, let's have a look at some more taxes, exciting times. Okay, Primrose, uh, 292 uh, for Fab Marcus, thank you, it's very nice of you to say. Only please, a love reading for me and Jay for the next few weeks, um, please, thanks all, thank you. Right, let's have a look, uh, well, will you thank us, we thank you as well, all of us, from Psychic Today. Um, and let's have a look, okay, hmm, hmm. Things have got to be a little more relaxed, you know, for you two to talk. They really have. Um, particularly, I feel, with yourself more than him. Um, I feel he's wanting to contact, he's wanting, willing to be with you, he's willing to work with you. But I also feel as if he's not willing to listen sometimes, and that frustrates, frustrates you. And in order to do what you're trying to achieve, is he's got to listen. And I feel that you, um, I feel that you, uh, you know, I, 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 I mean, whatever he texts you over the next few weeks and, uh, and the way he goes forward with you, I feel that you've got to really sort of sit down with him, uh, you know, because on a text you can't do much, on a voice, you, you know, but when, when it comes to the feelings from yourself to him, you know, I feel you've got to sit down verbally and talk to him, um, you, know, uh, you know, and have some kind of meeting. So the strategy is, I feel when he's in touch, is to try and meet up with him. Don't get in any conversations, negative conversations, or any disagreements or arguments which I feel could come up. Uh, if you do that, I feel your two will just go your distance. So, you know, just try, it's like, it's like being at the horse race, and, and it's like in some ways, been at the, you know, this is the last, very last furlong 
of this relationship and we want to get to the finishing end with yourself. So we've got to make sure that the, the conversation that you have between each other is very nice. He'll contact you, I feel you're going to be, uh, you know, a bit uh, frustrated and I feel that could be the, the error of, of all this. So think about what we've said, but love and light to you and uh, I know that there's a lot of positive things coming up for you, so really excited for you. Thank you for coming through to the show. Okay, right, now, you know, I've got 10 more minutes of my show. If you don't get hold of me now, you ain't going to get hold of me until Monday. Um, unless I get called into the show. So it's your opportunity to dial that number now. Get dialing. Uh, 6652 is my PIN number. I've been doing this work for over 20 years. Um, I, I, I work alongside my spirit guides. I work um, pretty much hands-free. But I, I've got tools that I work as well with. So, I, you, know, you know, the crystal ball has been in my family for, for, for generations and, and, and many years which I, I sort of bring into the studio and enjoy sort of looking at it, but also enjoy tuning into the energy and getting a lot from the crystal ball um, when I actually look into the crystal ball to get information for you. So I'm here and alongside myself, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not the only one at Psychic today, there is many other psychics. Uh, in, in fact, the only psychic that is actually logged in taking calls at the moment is Peter Dos... Uh, is that is that Doswell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter Doswell. Oh, and also Teresa is now taking calls. Um, Penny B is just logged in. So another studio, fantastic studio psychic news flash there. We've got Emma four eight seven zero ready to take your calls. Emma four eight seven zero psychic uh, Doris there six five zero four. Joe, another great psychic available to take your calls. 4029 Jack, John Hanza, 6551. Can't believe Hazel Lee is available, another studio psychic. In fact, I, 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 I've, she's doing the show after me, actually. Um, I've been working with um, Hazel Lee a, a couple of weeks ago, and she's never free on a call, and she's free today. So get hold of Hazel Lee, the one and only Hazel Lee, pin number 3458. Get hold of her, grab her while you can. I can I can tell you now, she's not going to be available for much longer. So please, um, you know, grab her while you can. Hazel Lee, three, four, five, eight. Okay. Um, Anna, Anna Marie, six, seven, eight, six. Emily, Emily, four, six, zero, nine. Audrey, four, eight, six, four. We've got Victoria on the show a lot. Again, available, six, one, nine, eight. So all these, uh, you know, have all these psychics are just two psychics on calls. So come through to all the psychics here. And we're here 24 hours of the day. And the number to ring here is 0907 005 2222. And my pin number is 6652. It's come through directly to myself. Right. Let's scroll up the screen and see if I've got the text. I'm, make, I'm enjoying the show. Are you enjoying the show? I am. Are you enjoying the show, Miss P? Yeah, we are. Okay. Um, Thank you, thank you. Um, right, okay, so what, what is Jeremy thinking about our holiday together? Uh, what is next? Any insight? What is, uh, you know, what is he thinking? Um, okay, thank you for coming through to the show. Right, let's have a look. Okay. Hmm. Thank you, Jeremy. Okay. Um, hmm. hmm. Yeah, um, there's there's a feeling of uh, it's interesting. There's, again, quite a complicated text because there's, the, 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 there's a feeling of energy, psychic energy, where um, that they want to be around, they want to be close to you, but there's also a feeling of, of, of uh, you know thinking to themselves. But what if things go wrong? What if this happens? What if that happens? What if it goes wrong? And you know, it comes down again. We had a lot of texts like this about trust. And I feel that although this person does trust you, I feel that you're, we're all individuals and you're an individual and you do things differently to, to, to other people. I do things differently to others. We all do things differently. But I feel this person, I feel this person, I feel sometimes feels and sees a difference in you to others. And when they see this difference uh, to, towards yourself, 
and, and the way you are sometimes, they, they don't quite understand me. So it's, it's about understanding. Um, they're not understanding you the way you, you're a very spiritual person, I feel. I feel you're a very amazing person. In, you've got a lovely heart in yourself. You know, very, 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 very clean. Very, very, um, you, know, you know, very, very good heart. Um, you know, overall, and, and you know, it's a good thing to have. And I just feel that they don't quite understand you. What I feel that's going to happen over the next sort of seven to nine weeks is that they are going to start to try and understand you a little bit more than what they ever have done. And for that reason, I feel they'll start to get to know you a little bit more. Um, you know, when there's fear, we don't want to get to know someone. We fear that if we do get to know them, well, you know, what's going to be revealed. Um, you are different, we're all different, but they've got to accept you for who you are. If they can't accept you for who you are, you can't move forward with this person. But I feel very strongly, Jeremy, and, you know, lovely, lovely person you are, that they're going to accept you for who you are, understand you for who you are. You know, you, you, you can get a little bit insecure, you, you know, you, you want them there, you want this love. You, 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 you know, you want this overall love in your life. Um, and to be in your life forever and ever, amen. And, and you want all these things. And I feel that you're, you, you, you're, you, know, you come across as if you want that. So even when they're in contact, even when they're with you and, and they've worked things out for themselves because they want to and they're not being sort of, you know, you know sort of, they say you're good at his bliss. I feel they're like that. I feel when they're in touch with you and they're with you more, I feel that it's important for you, lovely person you are, I feel very excited about your future, that you actually just relax with it all, don't put too much pressure and just really do things really smoothly to let them actually um, come into your life that a little bit more than what they have been doing. If we go with that plan, I feel it's a good plan. It's like the A-Team, remember when you was a, a young person, you know, the A-Team, you know, when a plan comes together. I've got a call, so I'm going to take the call. Um, if you don't see me, I'll see you soon, but if, if you do, I'll see you in a little while. We'll see you in a bit. Good afternoon, this is Hazel Lee and I'll be hosting the show for the next two hours. 
How the hell are you? Looking forward to the show? I hope so. I'm going to be logging into the system in a little while. But before I do, I just want to let you know a little bit about what we're doing here, how we do it, and how you can get involved, okay? So we're psychic today. And we've been around over 13 years. That's a long time. We've done millions and millions of readings, guys. What we do, we log into our system, some of the UK's top psychics. So there they are there, look. All there waiting for you. And everybody has a unique PIN number. So for you to get involved with the show, it's quite simple. 0808 206 777. There's the numbers. If you want to know you know all about a psychic that's great talk to one of our lovely reception team right now just so you know available for you we have the lovely diamond this lady has been psychic for so long she doesn't mess you around let me tell you what she'll get to the parts that of your reading that you need really need to discuss and talk about and she won't mess you around. She hears, sees, feels. She can use cards if you want her to. I find Diamond to be a girl's best friend. Everybody talks about her like that. And people come back time and time again because of her reading. So, guys, if you haven't had a reading with the lovely Diamond, here's an opportunity. 4553 is where you're going to find her. Now, you've got to be over 18 to get involved with this show. And we cannot talk about health finance, fertility or legal matters, but that's fine. We've got loads and loads of things we can talk about. What's going on with you right now? Okay, you're watching this show. We're psychic today. What is it that's going on with you? Are you insecure about a job? Are you feeling like you want to change a job? Are you feeling like it's time to move into a new house, perhaps? Are you thinking of moving? Are you not sure what to do? These are the sort of questions we get every day of the week. Are you in love? Is someone around you not behaving like they're matching you at the level that you'd like? Maybe you're confused. Have I got it wrong? Guess what? We don't know you from Adam or Eve, but you know something? We're going to tell you how we see it. So we've got lots and lots of available psychics for you right now. So I'm just going to give you a little rundown. We've got Natalie Kay available there. Haven't seen her for a while. What a lovely, lovely lady. She's worked professionally for over 26 years, this lady. She's a very, very compassionate lady, and she will enlighten, your, enlighten you into your situation. The number one of my favourites here is Gail Marie. 4822. That's where you're going to find the lovely Gail Marie. You know what? She loves to tackle a love dilemma. Very, very honest lady. She'll tell you how she sees it, okay? She's very clear as she speaks. She's very gentle, very, very kind. And you know what? You could be snapping her up next. You've got to be quick. People come and go all the time on this row, okay? These psychics are available now. They might not be in a moment. Gal Marie's there on 4822. That's where you're going to find her. Lotus is there, 6622. I'm going to be logging into the system any minute now. So if you haven't had a reading with me and you want to, my PIN number's 3458. I'm going to not do any anything but simple, no-nonsense readings today. So I want to be really nippy. I want to get to the point, And I don't want to leave you guys hanging around too long, OK? That's how we're going to roll. So I think I'm going to log in now, OK? So numbers are there for you. 0808 206 7777. That's where you're going to find me. If you dial that number, 3458 is where you need to be after that. I'm logged in right now. Very, very simple. I'm waiting to talk to you. In the meantime, if you haven't had a reading before and you're watching this show and you've not got involved before, Guys, it is so very, very simple to get involved. You can have a reading with a top psychic from the comfort of your own living room. How good is that? So sit back, put your feet up, dial the numbers. We've got psychics right now available. I want to tell you a little bit about some of these psychics, so why I get an opportunity, okay? Meg's there, by the way, on 6223. Diamond, as you know, is there. I love diamonds. I mean, if you haven't had a reading with her before, I can't believe this lady is available. You know, she's very, very precise when she talks. She doesn't mess around. 
ladies, you know, she's logged in for you today because most of the people that talk to her actually are ladies. Most of the people that talk to me are ladies as well, which is good. You know, from woman to woman, how do you want it? Do you want this person to, you know, truly understand what's going on? Then Diamond will do that. She's very, very empathic, guys. Okay, now, what happens here on the show is we're going to get interactive with a lot more psychics this afternoon. So I'm going to ask Mrs. P if we can talk to a home psychic. Is that possible, Mrs. P? Okay, this one's for me. Hi, Hazel. Anything for me to know about the work that I do, please? Love and light, Kay. Anything for me to know about the work I do? Okay, let's have a look for you, Kay, and see what's going on. I feel what's happening with you is like you go three steps forward and then kind of two steps back with work. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to leave it there for a moment, okay? And um, I'm going to pass you back to the studio, but I will get back to your question. See you soon. Hi, you reach John Hanser, pin number 6551. I'm a natural psychic and my readings are calming, compassionate and detailed. I like to focus on general readings, uh, love and relationships, careers, questions. Thank you very much.
it's me again. And it's as simple as that. You want to get involved with the show. If you just got a question you want to ask, like our last caller, very simple, 0808 206 7777. There's pin numbers for all of us. I'm 3458. We've got loads of psychics logged in here. Terry Stramire's in today. Diamond's in today. John Hansa, Gal Marie. Hosts and hosts of psychics waiting for you. Now, I'm going to carry on with our text that we nearly did. Hi, Hazel. Anything for me to know about the work that I do, please, love and like, Kay? Okay, let me have a look for you, Kay how I see this for you. It's a, it's a, um, whatever career you're in, it's like you're surging forward with it. And then all of a sudden something happens and it kind of knocks you back to this post starter post again. And you're feeling what's going on? Why is it so hard? My darling, I feel that you're going to help a lot of people actually. And I don't think it's going to be easy because of that. Okay. But I do think that people around you aren't always as honest as you. And I feel almost like, you know, um, a lot of skullduggery, you've been overlooked, or kind of like left where you, left in a corner, if you like, and no one's helping you. I think there's going to be changes with your work. And I think those changes started in around March of this year. So I think everything is bugging you right now, but in a good way. There's changes. What you need to know about what you do is you can't trust everybody. OK, you've got to hold back and and kind of don't put, put heart and soul into them. And then I don't think you'll be so disappointed. Bye bye. OK, this is from Orange Cat. Hello, Orange Cat. Hello, Hazel. A love reading for me and Mr. Scorpio. What do you see? He tests my patience at times. Thanks, Jim. I bet he does, Jim. Let's have a look. OK, well, I feel here that it's like you're five, ten steps ahead of him with life and the way you see it and how you want things to be and behave. And I think sometimes it is it's tedious because you keep getting pulled back by him. I really feel that he loves you. I do. And I know you love him, but I feel that, you know what, it's like you have to keep explaining yourself. And, Jem, you know, I've got to tell you, I don't see a big change in that. But this is the worst side of him, isn't it? This is the worst thing you're, you're dealing with. Usually, it's a lot better to handle and it's easier to control. Lots of love. I'm handing you back over to the studio, guys, because I have a call. Bye-bye.
Terry Stromar here. Lovely to be with you. Um, I'm going to be working to, um, for a couple of hours now, so I'm free to get hold of you. I work hands-free, and um, if you've got any dilemmas, if you're wanting to um, have some direction in terms of your career pathway, maybe it's your family that you've got a dilemma going on, um, or indeed you're in terms of a relationship, you're not sure about trust, or indeed if you're wanting any guidance with regard to your spiritual development. I am a spiritual teacher. I do. I teach at the SAGB, which is the Spiritualist Association of Great Britain. Um, I love to get involved anything to do with spiritual matters. So please don't think that any question is too big or too small, or even feel as if your question isn't worthy to be looked at. Um, you know, I will give you my undivided t attention and my guides, and I look forward to very much speaking with you. My PIN number is 6156. So take care and give me a call. Bye. Oh, good evening. My name is Penny B. I'm going to be available um, right up until midnight tonight to take your calls on pin number 6732. Do come through to me for that one-to-one -one guidance. I've got 24 years experience in the psychic industry. I do regularly host my own little shows here um, in the daytime for Psychic Today. I work with the magical tarot, my natural ability. I work with the healing with the angels as well. And I've got the selenite crystal ball with me today. Day, which is one of the four crystal balls that I work with. Um, so do come through to me. Maybe it's your, you're looking for that July reading. Uh, it is July at the weekend, so do come through and see what the next month has is, is got to hold for you. Maybe you're looking for uh, a bit of guidance just for the next seven days even. Maybe you've got that hot date this week lined up that you really want to know about, or maybe you've got that job interview coming up, um, or maybe it's that all-important meeting um, surrounding work that you need to know about. So... Um, whatever it is, whatever your question, so long as it's within the realms of what we can talk about, do come through to me, Penny B, um, on pin number 6732. But bye for now. I'm very passionate about what I do and if I can inspire, empower and uplift somebody who's going through difficult times and give them the insight that they're looking for and help them over the dilemmas then I feel that I'm in some way giving them and opening up their pathway um, to enlightenment in some way. I found out about Psychic Today, I've got my friend John Healy um, introduce me and uh, because he's seen over the years uh, the work that I've done, <clears throat> he often used to come and watch me demonstrate and said we could really do with someone like you at Psychic Today because I feel it's something that you have to give your life to. I feel that my life is of service to, to help, empower and inspire. It's really important to build up that connection. The lovely thing about when you actually talk to somebody on the phone rather than just giving them a text message, you hear that voice and that in itself is a language and builds the bridges and you can therefore, often people have got dilemmas 
and they have a question or something they're particularly looking at. But the trouble is, there's maybe obstacles in the way. And what we can do is look at uh, their particular dilemma and see what obstacles there are and what their potential is and, sh and show them how to navigate around them and potentially to be able to get, get give to them exactly what they're looking for in terms of the direction, upliftment, as I said, and inspired and motivation as well. So you've seen them on the show, you probably see them on Facebook, you've heard what they can do, well, why not give them a call? That's the opportunity that you have right now with our Psychic Today readers. They've got guidance for you waiting and I'll tell you what, you can be actually having a conversation and asking your own question to some of Britain's finest psychics. Don't you find that life can just pass you by and before you know it, Where's the time gone? Maybe you want to be a little bit more organised with your time and your money. Well, we've got a service that enables you to call up and speak to our reception team and actually book in your credit or your minutes to speak to our psychic readers. Now, they know pretty much everything that they need to know about Psychic Today readers. They can tell you which reader will be best for your question. They can even connect you through as well. And there are money-saving offers as well on the free phone number. It's all very simple. It's all very safe and secure and it's all very very easy for you to do so call our reception team and they'll take control Hi, my name is Psychic Love. I'm an actual reader, so I don't require any tools. I cover love, relationships, career, employment, and spiritual connection. I have over 20 years experience, love and light.
Hi, my name is Psychic Love. I'm a natural reader, so I don't require any tools. I cover love, relationships, career, employment, and spiritual connection. Oh, I have over 20 years experience, love and light. Hi, you reach John Hanser, pin number 65551. I'm a natural psychic, and my readings are calming, compassionate, and detailed. I like to focus on general readings, uh, love and relationships, careers, questions. Thank you very much. Gentlemen, this is Peter Doswell on pen number six treble four. A very good afternoon to all of you. I hope you're all well and enjoying your day, regardless of our summer weather here. I'm here today. If any of you would like to look at a relationship issue, or you would like to look at a career situation, a house move, family issues. Lots and lots of questions that you may like answered that you can give me a call about. Remember, I cannot look at legal, financial, pregnancy, fertility, or health questions. We're not allowed to do that. But anything else that you think I may be able to help you with, feel free to give me a call. And it doesn't matter where you are, you can call me because I'll connect into your voice on the telephone when we're speaking and I'll work with my guides and we'll, we'll go in and I'll give you exactly what I'm feeling from them and tell you exactly what I'm being shown. Now, I can use the crystal ball. I do have it here ready to use. I have got the tarot cards, the angel cards, but I'm most like, likely to use my, my natural sensing psychic abilities, which I've developed now over the last 30 years. I started when I was about 15. I'm 43 now, so I'm getting old. You can rest assured that the hair is grey in this picture. Anyway, folks, have a lovely day. It's always a pleasure to have you call me about any of your issues. You're not just clients. I treat you all as friends. Feel free to call me, and thank you very, very much for watching the show. I'm on six, treble four, and I'm sat at home now, ready to take your call. Blessings to you all, and love and light.
eyes closed, that you're standing in a green field and you're looking up at this huge, gigantic sphere of the moon. It is lit up so bright that against a black sky, it is pouring forth enough light that you can see everything on Mother Earth around you. And as you stand there, it's as if the moon wants to talk to you, wants to communicate with you, that it starts to pour forth its light. The moon light starts to descend in fluorescent white light like a cloud of smoke through the atmosphere coming through from the great heights of the sky down towards Mother Earth and it starts to reach out for the top of your head and as it does you embrace it see yourself opening your arms wide open to receive the moonlight because with it comes the gifts of the attributes and the characteristics of the moon. Another celebrity, hot to trot, uh, it's the lovely Sky Silverstone, who's been giving us a bit of insight into the celeb world. Yes, yeah. another nice picture. Absolutely. Mm. Beautiful family, beautiful lady. Yeah, very powerful in mm. her own right as well. Mm. And the thing about Kim Kardashian is she's born a life past 22. So with numerology, um, many of the viewers may know or may not know that all numbers are broken down to a single digit. Mm -hmm. The only two numbers that aren't broken down, in other words, what I mean is you add up every single digit in your date of birth and say it comes to 43. Mm -hmm. um, you add four and three together and that's your life path number. Yeah. So with Ka Kim Kardashian, her date of birth adds up to a 22. Mm -hmm. And we don't break 22s now. <laughs>
I'm very passionate about what I do. And if I can inspire, empower, and uplift somebody who's going through difficult times and give them the insight that they're looking for and help them over the dilemmas, then I feel that I'm in some way giving them and opening up their pathway um, to enlightenment in some way. I found out about Psychic Today. I've got my friend John Healy um, introduced me and uh, because he's seen over the years uh, the work that I've done, he often used to come and watch me demonstrate and said we could really do with someone like you at Psychic Today because I feel it's something that you have to give your life to. I feel that my life is of service to, to help, empower and inspire. It's really important to build up that connection. The lovely thing about when you actually talk to somebody on the phone rather than just giving them a text message, you hear that voice and that in itself is a language and builds the bridges and you can therefore, often people have got dilemmas and they have a question or something they're particularly looking at but the trouble is there's maybe obstacles in the way and what we can do is look at uh, their particular dilemma and see what obstacles there are and what their potential is and, sh and show them how to navigate around them and potentially to be able to get Get, give to them exactly what they're looking for in terms of the direction, upliftment, as I said, and inspired and motivation as well. Don't you find that life can just pass you by and before you know it, where's the time gone? Maybe you want to be a little bit more organised with your time and your money. Well, we've got a service that enables you to call up and speak to our reception team and actually book in your credit or your minutes to speak to our psychic readers. Now, they know pretty much everything that they need to know about Psychic Today readers. They can tell you which reader will be best for your question. They can even connect you through as well. And there are money-saving offers as well on the free phone number. It's all very simple. It's all very safe and secure. And it's all very, very easy for you to do. So call our reception team and they'll take control. So you've seen them on the show. You probably see them on Facebook. You've heard what they can do. Well, why not give them a call? That's the opportunity that you have right now with our Psychic Today readers. They've got guidance for you waiting. And I'll tell you what, you can be actually having a conversation and asking your own question to some of Britain's finest psychics. Perhaps in one of those uh, dull or, or quieter days, I really hope that you enjoy them and that you love them as much as I do. So, you've seen them on the show, you probably see them on Facebook, you've heard... I am so, so excited to be able to let all of you lovely friends at home know um, about our new affirmation service based on these cards that I have been privileged to be able to, to make. It's so easy to get involved, it really is. Basically, all you need to do is text the word SAMI, S-A-M-M-I-E, to 87777, and then what will happen um, is that you will get one of these cards for you to keep forever and ever sent directly through to your phone. It's £1.50 for your message and then £3 for your card. But as I say, you get to keep that forever. Um, you can maybe have it as your screensaver, print it out and keep it as something for you to be able to look at and focus on perhaps in one of those uh, dull or, or quieter days. I really hope that you enjoy them and that you love them as much as I do.
Hi, you reached John Hanser, pin number 6551. I'm a natural psychic and my readings are calming, compassionate and detailed. I like to focus on general readings, uh, love and relationships, careers, questions. Thank you very much. Hi guys, Hazel Lee here, just got off a lovely call. Um, you know what, that was Jules. If you haven't had a reading with Jules, 4505 is where you're going to find a delightful lady. She's been with the show many, many years. And if you haven't had a reading, you'll understand why she gets so very, very busy. Okay, guys, 0808 206 777. That's where you need to be. 4505, if you want to get through to the lovely jewels, we've got loads of psychics available right now for you. I shall carry on now with a lovely text. For wonderful only, for, for wonderful Hazel only, please, what can you see for me? An initial J Mal, especially his feelings. Thank you, E. Let's have a look for you, E. What I see is that you're passing, okay? So is it that you're passing ships on a regular basis, perhaps around the work? I know that he's aware of you and you're aware of him. And what I feel is that he's incredibly shy and I feel you are too, but I feel that because of that shyness, he's been a bit hesitant to come forward. Sweetie, I wouldn't be surprised the next time you see each other, you end up in his arms. I think he knows something's going on. That's what I'm feeling. Bye-bye. Okay, so we continue with these texts. If you want to stop me, guys, if you want to get involved with the show, if you want a reading of your own, 0808 206 777. I'm on 3458, and I'm going to just tackle this next text. Can I have a work reading, please? 28th of the 11th, 
82. Is that the 11th? Yes. 28 of the 11th. Let's have a look. Well, I'm getting all change here. Something is changing. You're changing. There's going to be a new position for you. So is it that you're moving to a new position within the company? I don't feel it. I feel that you're actually going into a new job, a new area. And I think that things haven't been feeling good for ages. And I think you've picked that energy up. Darling, I feel August is the time for you. Significantly, I want to give you the month of August. Good luck. Bye-bye. And we'll continue with another. Hi, Fab Hazel. What do you see for Scorpio and I for the next few weeks? He will be home from working abroad soon. What is his feelings about me and will we move forward? Libra from Ireland. Okay, let's have a look, Libra. Now, it's funny, I'm seeing you put your foot down. So I actually believe that if you want things to change here, you're going to have to change it, okay? I feel that you've been too obliging and too loving. And you know what? You didn't want to upset him, so perhaps you're just amenable. Here, though, I feel that you've waited around long enough. And what I'm seeing is you're going to need to put your foot down. If you do that, she who dares will win. Now, I'm going through woods, September, October, November. I feel that you're gradually getting better at what you're doing, okay? You've made a mark, but I think that you're going to get him to realise that there's got to be some sort of commitment. I think, my darling, you've got to find a way to get a ring on your finger because I really feel that you're ready for that. And you know what? There's no reason why you shouldn't have it all. Bye-bye. And we'll do another. Guys, while we're here, look, you've got psychics available for you right now. You, to get involved with the show is very, very easy. The number's there at the top of the screen. Uh, Emily is available at the moment, 6038, okay? Samantha Emily is available right now. She's a natural, empathic psychic. She's been around a long, long time. Do you want a little bit of insight and guidance? There she is. 6038. Lovely, lovely lady. I can't believe she's sitting there waiting. You could be talking to her next. 0808 206 7777. 6038. That's the lovely Samantha Emily. I've got a text now from Clovis. Can you see how Alan is feeling about me after our time together and next face to face? Love and light. Let me see how Alan's feeling about you. Clovis is not a man of many words, so he's not going to sit and bear his soul to you, okay? But on the other hand, I feel, because I'm seeing him playing a long game, so he leaves you waiting, you talk a lot, and then you meet up, and then you have to wait and wait and wait, and then you meet up again. That's what I see. September is your month. September is where you're going to sort something out. I really believe you're going forward, but it's a very slow pace. Bye-bye. OK, guys, you've got Jules here working this evening on 4505. She's available right now. Just come off a call. She's been psychic for many, many years. She's there right now. 4505, you'll find the lovely Jules. Hi, Hazel Lee. Please, change is all around me. What can you see? Thanks, and Sag. Let's have a look. OK, now, you know what? I'm seeing April, May, June, July, and you're up to your neck in it now. Darling, you could not expect to stay in the same position. You see, I'm going to handle this after this call, OK? So we're going to leave your text on the screen. I'm going to just take this call and I'll get straight back to you. Bye-bye.
Hi, you've reached John Hanser, pin number 65551. I'm a natural psychic and my readings are calming, compassionate and detailed. I like to focus on general readings, uh, love and relationships, careers, questions. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Margaret. Our PIN number is 4839. I have been doing readings for over 10 years now. I am a natural psychic. I also work hands-free, but I can also use the tarot cards if you would like them. Hello and uh, good afternoon, or shall I say uh, good evening. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Joe, my pen uh, 4029. I would love working with color, energies, and vibrations, and that is uh, the aura surrounding the physical body, very deeply layered energy. It has primary colors that talks about your current focus, your vision, where you want to be, who you are, um, your self-love, your um, career, your job environment, um, your growth within job and career, but it also tells us about your love, your vision of what you see for yourself in the future. Going into the energy layer of the aura tells us about relationships quite a bit. That is where I can connect with your current partner, if you do have a partner, or we can look at whether an ex may be coming back or a complete new person stepping into your life. And we look deeper into the love energy, the commitment energy, uh, whether it's there, how that will progress as it goes, as you go into the future. We then move into the event part of the aura. Always exciting because that's where the house move is, um, the date you're gonna go on, the travel that lies ahead, um, or even um, the interview that you will be doing uh, tomorrow morning. Are you prepared? A little bit nervous about that, um, but um, very interesting to see how that progresses into the future then for you. Touch on the seven base chakras. Those are energies within the body. They have different colors. They, uh, they apply to different emotions, and they do rotate clockwise and can get blocked. Now, what does that mean? It means that that particular energy becomes so overloaded. Um, for example, the sacral chakra, the energy that gets blocked very quickly as a result of uh, you may find it difficult in making decisions. Um, 
or communicate um, getting yourself being understood by the people that you're speaking to or even in your relationship and that is what um, brings that energy then to an halt and how do we unblock it well as we do a reading I can unblock that energy for you get it to rotate again and even do a chakra scraping in other words we scrape out the remainder color of that chakra, but we also scrape out some of the scars that are sitting there and get it to rotate in sequence with the remainder of the chakras. Now, depending on your question, I will go directly to the energy that applies, but in general, this is what I consolidate into a reading for you. I do my readings in five languages. That's Afrikaans, English, Southern Sutu, Northern Sutu, and Siswana. I touch on communications in relationships and look at small and medium business. Remember, just no legal or financial questions. That is about um, what you may expect from a reading with me. But having said that, I love reading and writing. Love to see the beach, the sun, love the art. Um, that, that's always been a huge part of my life. I, I was on stage for several years. Um, so wish I could be on stage right now. Um, will always be a very important part of my life. Um, as we speak, I, I can actually feel that energy coming through. But having said that, thank you so much for your time. I am available on pin 4029 and hope to speak to you shortly. Goodbye. Hello, my name is Margaret. My PIN number is 4839. I have been doing readings for over 10 years now. I am a natural psychic. I also work hands-free, but I can also use the tarot cards if you would like them.
I'm very passionate about what I do. And if I can inspire, empower and uplift somebody who's going through difficult times and give them the insight that they're looking for and help them over the dilemmas, then I feel that I'm in some way giving them and opening up their pathway um, to enlightenment in some way. I found out about Psychic Today, I've got my friend John Healy um, introduced me and uh, because he's seen over the years uh, the work that I've done, <clears throat> he often used to come and watch me demonstrate and said we could really do with someone like you at Psychic Today because I feel it's something that you have to give your life to. I feel that my life is of service to, to help, empower and inspire. It's really important to build up that connection. The lovely thing about when you actually talk to somebody on the phone rather than just giving them a text message, you hear that voice and that in itself is a language and builds the bridges and you can therefore, often people have got dilemmas and they have a question or something they're particularly looking at but the trouble is there's maybe obstacles in the way and what we can do is look at uh, their particular dilemma and see what obstacles there are and what their potential is and, sh and show them how to navigate around them and potentially to be able to get Get, give to them exactly what they're looking for in terms of the direction, upliftment, as I said, and inspired and motivation as well. The team is uplifting, invigorating and gives you great readings. One I'd like to do in person, of course, would be Julia Roberts. I find her inspirational and I want to find out what really keeps her at the top of her game. If you're feeling a little bit nervous about having a reading, it's nothing to worry about. We've got a team here that's dealt with every type of issue and yours will not come as any surprise to them. So why don't you just trust, pick up the phone and have a reading with one of our psychics. I'd be glad you did. I love working for Psychic Today, there's a real sense of family behind the scenes. I've been here for 11 years and what brings me back? You do. I love watching um, drama on TV and thrillers, uh, the suspense and the investigations that go on. The big American dramas like House of Cards and CSI, I'm totally hooked. You see me using many different cards on the show. I love using the cards. It's a chance for me to show you, especially if you're developing, what cards are around you, their, their meanings, their understanding. And if you're developing, this is a, a prime place to be able to follow the text messages and the answers we give with your own cards. Try it, you might just have some fun.
Because time is of the essence, we have a service which allows you to connect to a psychic in the quickest possible way. Simply dial 0907 005 2222, charged at £1.50p per minute, plus your network access charge. Speak to one of us now for your own private and confidential psychic reading. Whether it be love, work, family or relationships, we will always have a psychic ready to read for you. Here at Psychic Today, we believe that psychic readings should be honest, insightful, private and confidential, which is why we give you the opportunity to pay using your card. Simply dial 0808206777, which is a free phone number from your landline and mobile phone. Our friendly reception team are ready and waiting to take your call. So why not become a Psychic Today VIP the team is uplifting, invigorating and gives you great readings. One I'd like to do in person of course would be Julia Roberts. I find her inspirational and I want to find out what really keeps her at the top of her game. You're feeling a little bit nervous about having a reading? It's nothing to worry about. We've got a team here that's dealt with every type of issue and yours will not come as any surprise to them. So why don't you just trust, pick up the phone and have a reading with one of our psychics. I'd be glad you did. Don't you find that life can just pass you by and before you know it, Where's the time gone? Maybe you want to be a little bit more organized with your time and your money. Well, we've got a service that enables you to call up and speak to our reception team and actually book in your credit or your minutes to speak to our psychic readers. Now they know pretty much everything that they need to know about Psychic Today readers. They can tell you which reader will be best for your question. They can even connect you through as well. And there are money saving offers as well on the free phone number. It's all very simple. It's all very safe and secure and it's all very very easy for you to do so call our reception team and they'll take control have a crystal ball to help guide us or tell us what's coming next but we've got the next best thing with our mystic service you can text us your question and soon you'll receive your personal unique psychic reply straight to your mobile phone right this is too heavy I'm going mobile the mystic service being on the go is not a no for a reading. Talking with anyone about elements of our life which are sensitive can be difficult. At times, speaking with family and friends isn't enough. So what if you could text a psychic who has years of experience in offering insight and guidance into areas of your life which are important to you? You could ask them about love, career, family or relationships simply text mystic space then your question to 87777 and receive your guidance today
welcome to our late show. We're live three till one o'clock in the morning, and I'm Charlotte Parler. I'm your presenter. I'm back off of maternity leave, and I am incredibly happy to be here tonight with three of Britain's finest psychics. Yes, you're in for a treat this evening, because I'm more than happy to tell you that in the building we have. Guy Silverstone, we have Anne Scholes, and we have Charlotte Clark as well. It's all happening, so stay tuned. And hopefully you've had a wonderful start to the year. Everything's been good for you. You're enjoying the summer. Well, it's a bit rainy today, isn't it? Um, but it's lovely to be back. It's really nice to be back working with these three young ladies, I must say, from my point of view. We've been doing this for a long time. And it's lovely to have your company, so sit back. Chill out, get your mobile phones ready and your landlines, of course, and get ready to experience a psychic reading with one of Britain's finest psychics, if you'd like. Now, I'm just going to get through a few rules before we kickstart this show with some of our guest readers and, of course, meet some of our at-home team as well. Now, just make sure that you're over 18, you're the bill payer or you have permission. No questions on health, pregnancy, finances and legal issues and the show's for entertainment purposes only. Now, throughout the show this evening, we've got a long show for you, but it's going to go very very fast because there's lots and lots for us all to talk about. Of course, your lives are at the beginning of our priorities and we'd love to discuss your relationships, your work situations, house moves, generally what's happening. We're also going to be bringing in little mini topics a little bit later on that our guest psychics have kindly brought in for us and prioritising your texts and voicemails throughout the show. Uh, do have a look, telling you a little bit more about how you can call up our reception team on a free phone number here if you'd like to find out more about actually speaking to a psychic on the phones. Throughout the show, you're going to see Anne, Charlotte and Sky answering or giving you guidance, your texts and your voicemails. Then you're also going to have the chance to speak to them on the phone. So the psychic that you see on the show tonight, you could be having almost a one-to-one -one conversation with them. So please remember that and maybe call up the free phone number if you'd like to find out about some money-saving offers. So why not send us a text to the show? We'd love to hear your question and we'd love our psychics to be able to give you some guidance. It's only £1.50p per message and it's not a subscription service. So text TV, leave a space, pop your question and send it off to 87777. Alternatively, a voicemail is charged at £1.50p per minute and your number is 0913 690 8200. So get interactive because that's the beginning of the show and that's what we're going to do to prioritise. Uh, right in just a couple of moments, Anne Scholes and Charlotte Clark are in the studio and they're ready to tell you about tonight's show. But before that, let's go over to one of our very private booths and find out what our wonderful psychic astrologer has in store. It's the one and only Sky Silverstone. Hello, Good evening, Charlie. Sky. Good evening. Welcome back, Charlie. Oh, thank you very much. It's so nice to be working with you ladies. Oh, is this your first? It is your first show. It's my first it? live show back. back. I was worried that I wouldn't know how to form a sentence or with somebody talking in my ear, I'd go, Oi, get out. <laughs> what, what, what do you want? But it's all right. It's going okay. Bless um, you. <laughs> how have you been, Sky? You've been well? really good. Very busy. Um, not a very. I'm not around very much in July no. and August. Oh. But I am in for a few shows. Don't Yay. don't worry, viewers. So um, <laughs> I'm going at eleven as well, guys and okay. girls. And so my shows are quite short. But yep. and I'm, I'm abroad a lot as well. I'm going to be popping over to my surgery in Spain as well as over in New York as well. Got a lot of work. As I do every summer. Busy it's bunny. Not, it's not different. Yeah. Keeps so, you out of mischief, Sky. Oh, it does, and I do get into a bit of mischief. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, Sky, darling, we're going to get you logged on in just a moment, but before we do that and give our viewers a chance to get through to you, tease us like you do so well on the topic that you're going to be bringing in about 10 o'clock tonight. We're going to have a little conversation. Okay, very quickly now, as I'm, I, I, it is a very, very positive and powerful week guys and girls astrologically the heavens are giving us a chance to say it do it or go after it but with a lot of care why because mars and mercury today is a very powerful day for all of that what i'm what, which I, what i'm talking about is uh -huh. that mars and mercury are conjunct now that is an aspect an aspect is the relationship between two planets and that and conjunct means that they are flowing harmoniously together they're best buddies to 
today, they're in the same degree in the sign of Cancer. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't understand that, basically, they're very well aligned today and the rest of the week. But Mars is a very powerful, energizing planet, and it mm -hmm. is known as the mythological god of war and can bring in that energy of firing you up in the wrong direction. And Mars loves to do that. And Mercury is the communication planet, the travel planet, the planet that's to do with business and also with work as well. But communication is very hot for uh, Mercury. So Mars comes along fires up Mercury to say it, do it, act upon it, and, Mar and Mercury's doing the same for Mars as well. So wow. it's about, it's a week that will bring you results, not immediately landing in your rat lap, and I'll talk more about it later on. It, being in the sign of Cancer, both of those planets, there's lots, go lots going on in Cancer, and that's Ooh. quite an emotional uh, energy for us, and it could even mean that your emotions are being brought out by Mars and Mercury hand in hand. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today, but it is about say it, do it, go for it. So viewers, I want to ask you, what do you need to say? What do you need to do? What do you need to go after? I'll leave that with you. Have a think, because you'll find out a little bit more about all the ins and outs, as our lovely Sky is one of our very, very sought-after psychic astrologers. She knows her stuff, so she's going to be telling us more about that at about 10 o'clock this evening. So, Sky, thank you ever so much. Shall we see you in action? And there's the many way that we get to on this show by having a look at a text question from one of our viewers and yeah. seeing what you've got to say. Let's do it. Perfect. Thank you very much. I'd just like to say as well for our guest psychics, if you'd like to send in a text or a voicemail, um, they always prefer obviously a specific question, a date of birth, a name in their text or voicemail, just because we only give them about a minute per question and it's not a lot of time. So if you expect them to get to the point in their guidance, then you've got to get to the point in your question. Um, so let's have a look at our first text message here. Here we go, Sky. Mm. Just come through and it's from an Aquarius born in 1971. Mm-hmm. It says, hi, Sky. Can you see any good news for good life and a new location with a new long-term soulmate to grow old together? Love and light, Aquarius, initial L. All right, initial L. Thank you very much for getting involved with the show, and it's a pleasure to have you being the first texter of the show. So we're looking for a loving partner to grow old with. Let's have a look at what I'm being shown. Now, I feel that there is going to be here uh, an area of work to tackle first. Now, it's not what you're asking about. However, there is one challenge with work coming up, which is very good. And once we reach the pinnacle of work and career uh, where you want to be, we've got love and relationships coming in for you on a very strong level. I feel that you have got uh, somebody coming in, and I do have someone who's quite strong in their energy. This is the Emperor card. This represents the person who is uh, the perfect partner for you. He may well be, they may well be an, an, an Aries or a Leo or a Sagittarius energy. I do get a little bit of positive, passionate firepower behind them. And I do feel that this is the person that you walk forward with as they're showing me hand in hand, at ring to ring. And I do feel I'm being shown a place away from the humdrum of life where you will be both together. Now, that is way off in the future. I don't feel you'll be in a very busy city or town. Or if you are, you're away from the central part of the city or town. You're in a quiet green area with your partner. And I see you doing things around the home that the home needs doing. So it needs seeing to around the home, like the decorating and so on and so forth. So this is a person to come in. Very powerful, strong, established individual. I'll leave that with you. Love and light. <laughs> Sky, thank you. It's lovely to you. I mean, I've been off for uh, six months, five, six months, and you give a lot of guidance in a short amount of time. Nice oh, work, no. Sky. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Liz and my lovely, I look forward to getting you back in the studio in a little while, but should we give our viewers a chance to speak to you on the phones? Thank you. Thank you, Sky. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Pin number 4646 to get through to Sky Silverstone, one of Britain's finest psychic astrologers. Maybe you're interested in a very practical reading. Maybe there's something that Sky said there that made you think, you know, I've got to get something off my chest. There's something that's doing my head and I need to chat to somebody about it. Um, Sky could be your woman. She'll be able to give you guidance about the timings, about our feelings, emotions, feelings, and emotions of other people as well. Just enable us to really get a bit of a well-rounded thought on maybe what we can do next and what that next step is. So, 
to get through to Sky at Silverstone. You've got numbers on your screens here that you can see. Uh, calling direct here enables you to pay on your phone bill. There you go. Uh, after you've had your reading. And we do. And she's logged in, by the way. 4646. First chance to get through to Sky happening right now. Um, I'm afraid she's been snapped up if you didn't get through to her. But look. Oh, hello, Hazel Lee. Ah, oh, there she is, our lovely Hazel. She's only logged on through till six o'clock, so I'd grab her on pin number 3458. Just very quickly, at any time, if you'd like to speak to our reception team free of charge about our show, ask any questions about money-saving offers, who these psychics are, what they deal with, you've just got a free phone number up there enabling you to ask those questions free. Right, have you got your texts and voicemails in? Do you think it's time for us to complete our psychic trio this evening? I think it is, and I am very excited to uh, announce who's on the show this evening, right through till one o'clock. They're in the corner. They're being very quiet, which is worrying me. Um, they're being well behaved. I'm worried. Let's welcome to the show the wonderful Anne and Charlotte. Hello, you two. Hello. Hello, beautiful Hello, Charlotte. Hello, beautiful Anne and Charlotte. It's lovely to have you both on the show tonight. Thank you. It's so nice for you to be. It's so nice to be listening to you there. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice thinking that. Yeah, oh, thank yeah, we've you. missed you. Oh, I've missed you too. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, ladies. You know, I'm really looking forward to tonight because I must admit, yourself, uh, both of you actually, and then obviously Sky, I've worked with for many years, so it's lovely. It really is. I mean, Charlotte and Anne, we've worked together for years, haven't we? Actually, us three. Absolutely. Yes, yeah. I'm waiting for you to say. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Still happens. Still happens. Go <laughs> <laughs> for the nod. Thank you. Um, I'd like to think somewhere along the line, I'm a bit like Bruce Forsyth, who has that like, you know, but I'm not as successful. <laughs> Maybe in the future. Um, oh, look, Hazel Lee. Hello, Hazel. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Hello, look, she's available. There she goes. She's probably screaming at the camera here. Um, uh, three, four, five, eight to get through to our lovely Hazel. Only logged on through till six o'clock. Right, Charlotte and Anne, lovely to have you on the show tonight. You're here through till, you're both here through till one, aren't you with me? Oh, yes. yes. Don't, don't be part timers <laughs> like Sky Silverstone. Mm. I can yeah. say that because well, she's on yeah. the phone. Yeah, we've got the, we've got the uh, energy tablets somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you're ready. Find them. <laughs> Caffeine and sugar, ready to go. Yeah. Um, so, ladies, we're going to have a, a brief look at, at the topics that you've brought in as well that we're going to talk about after about 10 o'clock. Then we're going to treat ourselves and watch you both in action with a couple of dual readings, and then we're going to get you both logged on to those phone lines. So, and my darling, can you just give us a little bit of a tease as to what you've got tonight on the show? Tease. Mm. Okay, so... One of the favourite uh, utensils that I use in the kitchen is a steamer. Mm. <laughs> I was wondering where this was going. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is very <laughs> <laughs> Not me whip. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought um, there's, a, there's a huge energy shift uh, in the heavens. Mm -hmm. And is it making you feel like being in the steamer um, mm. under pressure? Under dun, dun, pressure. Dun, dun, dun. <coughs> yeah, that's the one. That's the one. So we'll be looking at: Are you under pressure? Are you uh, in the steamer tonight? Yeah, mm. love it. Brilliant. And for that, Anne, I mean, you know, people are feeling a little bit under pressure, say, in a certain area of their life, their work, or whatever. In a text or a voicemail, because I have to be very careful here, and I know that you, Charlotte, Scott, you don't need to be told any guidance about anybody to give guidance on them, but. If you want people, if people want you to get to the point on, especially this easing pressure in a certain area or a specific question, you want a bit of a specific text or a voicemail if possible? Yes, you know, you may be under pressure in a relationship, you may be under pressure at work, you may be under pressure with the family. Um, so if you can put it into like work, an, an area like work, mm. um, family, um, relationship, that just makes it easier for us to just hone in onto that area. Nice. Lovely. Thank you very much, Anne. So Anne's going to be discussing that about 10 o'clock tonight, um, a little bit later on. So she had a little bit of a sing-song there. I'm going to do a link here. I'm quite proud of myself. I'm not presenting for six months. Under Pressure is Anne Skull's song. Charlotte leads me nicely into your topic. Yay. Yes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and my that topic... That was very good. Yeah, that was very good. Oh, very good. Oh, oh, very good. <laughs> Oh, sorry. It threw me a little bit too. I was unprepared. Um, yeah, my um, 
topic yeah. later on the, um, this evening is all about um, what is um, what song or movie mm -hmm. would describe either your life mm -hmm. or your year or even your day. You know, mm -hmm. it's like um, I wanted something like um, quite simple that you can text in movie, um, whatever movie would describe how your life has been. Or, or your day, or a song. Like, like I, I was like thinking my song, even though I'm not that keen on Elton John, um, my song, I suppose, that describes my life would be I'm Still Standing. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far. Um, you, you know, and various other movies that I can relate to. I, I presume um, certain points would be Bridget Jones, mm -hmm. um, then other times it would be Sleeping with the Enemy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh, that um, yeah, to yeah. First time I watched that. Um, <laughs> but you see where the links come from with the song. Yeah, so, if there's it. a song that you can relate to that describes how you have been today, or the past year, or your life, um, then text in with the song, the name of the song, um, and I'll give you the reading off the back of that. You can still put a question there, mm -hmm. or the movie um, will give me an idea of what's been going on around you too. So nice. you're going to go like that when it's a song, <laughs> and yeah. like that when it's like, a movie. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Stick to that, Charlotte. Yeah, I'll remember. Keep yeah. reminding me. <laughs> Brilliant topic. Thank you very much indeed. So in your text or your voicemail, pop that movie that relates to your life, your week, your day. Like Charlotte said, there's no you know pressure on this. It's just a little bit of a light-hearted fun. But then, of course, like Charlotte said, pop your question in there if you'd like to, and we can give you guidance off the back of that. TV space your question to 87777. Thank you very much indeed, ladies. It's going to be a great evening tonight on Channel 886. You've got Charlotte Clark, you've got Anne Scholes, you've got Sky Silverstone as your guest sidekicks. We are live. We're wanting your questions in, so grab them um, from your mobile phone, send them off to 87777, and we're going to start off as we mean to carry on. Ladies, are you ready for a couple of jewel readings? Oh, yes. Oh, nice. Mm. Let's do it. Perfect. Okay. And um, we'll go over to you first of all, lovely. And Charlotte, if there's anything that you'd like to add, okay. please, that would be amazing. And then we'll do one more and then we'll do it the other way around. So mm -hmm. Charlotte will give guidance first and then Anne. Okay. Uh, Geraldine in Ireland. Hello, Geraldine. I hope you're well. I haven't seen your name for ages. So nice to see you still texting the show. Geraldine is the 4th of January 1970. She's a lovely Capricorn and she says, Good evening, everyone. Anthony finished it on a text last week. Will you text me? If so, when, please. Thanks from Geraldine in Ireland. Ooh, I could say so much more about that. Mm. Right, okay, let's have a look and see what's coming out around you. kind of feel um, that yes you have got yourself into quite a state over this and it's it's not the right way to finish a friendship or relationship by text but there's a sense here that I needed to that as, as I say I, I mean him needed to draw breath I feel like as I go into his energy it's like I need to step back I want to step back I don't want to get any further involved and and there was a, it feels like I was a little bit in a in a a quandary so to speak now I do have here that you may well see some kind of communication or reconnection within two weeks so there's a lot of fire and energy coming in through here and a, a rekindling of things but I'm not going to say too much because if I do Charlotte won't have anything left to say so that's kind of what I get with it so far so yeah, as I'm jumping into the energy, um, I agree, Anne. Um, I do feel the communication comes um, um, around um, 10 days to two weeks, yes. Um, don't get too excited, though, because I, I really feel that um, it's still um, stop, start, stop, start. There's something not quite right. I do feel there's unfinished business there, but I get the overwhelming feeling of um, even though you're going to reconnect, it doesn't feel right. That there feels that there's something... Um, there's too much deep thinking going into this, analysing and everything else around the two of you is what I'm being given. I also get the feeling of the other person does seem to go off on a tangent from time to time, then comes back in again. Um, I'm not quite sure if I want to say that this is ever going to be um, on a um, good note or, or more of a commitment, because it does feel stop, start, stop, start, but I feel I agree. Um, communication, a connection comes within two weeks. Thank you for your text. 
Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, ladies. Much appreciated. And thank you ever so much indeed for your question, uh, lovely Geraldine. Thank you. Um, oh, I love this. Uh, Anne and Charlotte, apparently, my producer's just in my ear said that people are texting and asking if this is a pre record. And they're thinking we're not live because I'm here. I, don't think they, I think they thought they were lucky and they'd got rid of me forever. <laughs> And look, I was back from last year. I was only on maternity leave, had a baby, but look! She's definitely, see, she's she's definitely here. It's <laughs> definitely you. live. Live! Completely live. live! Wait, what? She starts messing with her hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I had this hairstyle throughout the whole uh, show, I've changed. I'm a changed woman. Um, but yeah, no, absolutely live. I'm back off maternity leave, and it's, it's lovely to be back. I've got to say that with Anne, Charlotte, and Skye. Right, let's uh, give you the chance in just a couple of minutes to get through to either Charlotte Clark or Anne Scholes on the phone lines. You might want to book in your reading at this stage because, like I said, probably give us two or three minutes. Anne and Charlotte will be leaving the studio, logging onto the phone lines in private booths. And you know what? In all seriousness, you're very lucky to be able to connect to these psychics because they're busy individuals and luckily they dedicate a little bit of time to our show every month. But they're not on all the time. They have different psychics on different shows. So do call this free phone number and Skulls and Charlotte Clark will be logging on after one final uh, question. And in fact, we've shown a text message, so I think we should um, play out a voicemail message. So you can leave us some more, because we do tend to prioritise those. We're going to go the other way around now, so we'll go over to Charlotte first of all, and can add to any guidance, and then they're going to be logging onto the phones. So let's have a listen to our first voicemail. Good evening. Hi, can I have a reading over the next couple of weeks, please, in the 10th of February, 77? And what's important over the next couple of weeks and anything good coming in? What do you say? Thank you. Mm. Hello there, lovely lady. Thank you so much for your voice mail there. I love the voices. Let's have some more of them being sent in. As I link in with your energy, I really get the feeling of um, feeling a bit... Blah. Okay, a bit fed up, not much going on around you as today and, and the past few weeks is what I'm being given. I do feel I want to sort of like give you a little bit of a shove more into accepting invitations of going out and about. I do, okay, cheers. I'm also being shown um, a celebration or a few people coming together. I do feel that that is coming in over the next month or so. It feels for a lovely occasion. I, um, you're sort of like, oh, I don't know if I want to go. Please go. Because um, I, I get the feeling of around um, the beginnings of August, I feel and sense you meeting new people. I also get the feeling of you being excited about the people that are coming forward as well and one person in particular I feel that there could be more romance um, as I'm going into August and September is what I'm being given and over to Anne. Yes I do feel that oh, when is something going to change when mm. is something going to happen and I feel that you're being given a little window here to just reassess things and make some plans about what you want to be doing and I kind of feel you know be kind to yourself have a little spa day, have your nails done, have your hair done, or, or just indulge in this time. Because, you know, like Charlotte said, there are new people and new things coming in around you. If I pull you a couple of cars, look, you've got the sun sign for August, which is saying more confidence, more laughter, much more uh, fun around you. And there's the romance, the two of cups. Yay! Um, and there we go, things getting back into order. So at the moment, maybe you want to just uh, preen yourself up for that uh, little bit of romance that's coming in. Ooh la la. Ooh la la, yes. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There you go, Charlotte. That's just for you. Thank you. <laughs> um, right, let's uh, stop this craziness. Let's give you the chance to get through to your guest psychics tonight. You've got Anne Skulls and Charlotte Clark. Now, I'm going to test my memory here. Charlotte, I'm going to put my hands up here and say, because I didn't work with you very often when, before I went on maternity, I can't remember your PIN number. It's 4687. 4687? Mm -hmm. Anne Skulls, 4601? Four, who, who've you been talking oh. to? Four oh, six nine one. Four six oh. nine one. <laughs> well done. Oh, do you know what? That's going to be my little game with myself over the next few shows. <laughs> Can I get the pin numbers right? Four six nine one. Thank you very much. Well, listen, ladies, we're going to get you logged on. Um, I mean, it's always important to point out, I think, on our live shows that we see you uh, just tackling a tiny little question on the phones with the privacy and the time that you can have. It is very different, isn't it? I mean, Charlotte, over to you. 
Um, very, very different. We're in our own space, combined little space um, one, in one of the booths. Uh, we can really interact and connect in with you. Um, and it's lovely to have you on the end of the phone that we can say, do you understand? And you can give me the feedback. Absolutely, absolutely. Tell you what you think. Um, and you've been on our show for a very, very long time. In fact, you're one of our psychics that launched um, this program many moons ago. Uh, it's safe to say that, you know, it's very comfortable. It's, it's nothing that's any pressure from a caller if they want to get a reading from you. I feel we, we sort of present that modern day psychic that we could be somebody living next door to you um, you know mm. I don't walk about in and do the you in hippy hoppy clothes and <laughs> with a crystal ball in my pocket all the time um, <laughs> we are ordinary people with ordinary lives and we have been through a multitude of uh, situations yeah. and I, we relate and we're also very approachable and very easy to talk to and don't ever be nervous about ringing in uh, because we you know, it, we understand it's a great responsibility what we do, and so we treat that with um, truth and integrity. Absolutely, here, here to that, ladies. Thank you very much indeed. We're going to get you, you logged on. Um, I'm going to tell you about a little game that we're going to be playing when Anne Scholes joins us next on uh, the show. We're also going to be prioritising your questions with Charlotte and Anne Sky. So get your questions coming and get dialing the main number here, free phone number or this number here. And Charlotte, thank you very much. I'll see you back here soon. Bye. <laughs> right, skies. Now this is where the readings happen. Where are our psychics? Like Charlotte, like Anne who've been doing this for years, by the way, way before Psychic Now or Psychic TV came into play. It's your chance to get through to them on those phone lines so that you can have a little bit of understanding about what's going on right here, right now, right here. That could be my song that I relate to. Um, right, get dialing if you'd like to speak to either of your TV psychics. With, by the way, for a non-televised reading, because that's key, it's nothing to do with anybody else who, um, what's going on in your life, who you're seeing, who you're, you know, having problems with at work, rah, 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 just you and that psychic. So, 0907 005 2222, not long to wait until you actually give them the option to enter a PIN number for the psychic, you heard their PIN numbers, and uh, you can just, to be fair, press number three if you'd like to follow the prompts and just go through to the next available psychic. It very often works out that the next available psychic is the studio psychic, but of course that's why the PIN numbers are put into place so that you can get through to those psychics specifically. Anne Scholes, she's logged in, she's available. Grab her quickly on PIN number 4691. That's Anne Scholes available for you. Just let's have a look who's on the at-home team. Ah. Oh, this is nice. We've got Jules logged in. Hello, Jules. We've got David as well, 460, 4067, and lots of other at-home psychics. It's not just about our three studio psychics. It has to be about the at-home team who are here as well and, of course, waiting to give you guidance. Right, Charlotte's logged in, 4687. Uh, Anne Skulls, available for you, 4691. Do you believe Anne was on last night's show, which normally means... That she won't be on another late show for a long, long time. I could be wrong, uh, but if I were you, I'd grab you, I'd grab her whilst you can. So remember the numbers. Call direct. It's very easy. Our show works, and I think this is why I love working on this program so much. Baby brain and all. Everything you see enables you to get through to one of Britain's finest psychics. Easy. Call direct. Brilliant. Follow the prompts, pay on your phone bill later, £1.50p a minute, so work out that a five-minute reading, you know what it's going to cost you, a ten-minute reading, about £15, um, so you can work that out. Follow the prompts, you could be getting your guidance within 30 seconds to a minute. If you'd like to speak to our reception team, it is that free phone number right there. Just to let you know that Anne's talking about, uh, you know when you feel under pressure, and you don't quite know what decision to make or what to concentrate on first of all or, or who maybe you want to, to speak to about it. Um, maybe you, you're doing it yourself. I'm quite good at that, putting pressure on myself, kind of going, oh, I don't really know. I don't really know where I'm at, let alone what a first what my first step can be, you might want to take that through to Anne. She's very easy to chat to. She's very gentle. She packs a punch, in my opinion, with a reading, oh, Production crew mean business, don't they? Okay, let's give you five minutes to get through to app. They've started it! You button happy, aren't you? No, it's fine. It's fine. You can take the power. <laughs> so five minutes. 
and they've started it. They're not mucking around our crew today. So listen, do not waste any time. And Skulls, like I said earlier, she launched this show about 14 years ago, inundated with callers, regular. She's got her own um, spiritual shop up in Manchester as well, and um, a very sought after lady. And actually, a lady who'd have to wait quite a long time to get a reading with outside of Psychic today. And that's another advantage. You don't have to travel to where Anne is. You don't have to book in for an hour's reading. You can just call up into the pin number, ask the question, put the phone down, and you can still be in your PJs and no makeup on as well. <gasps> Sounds like my idea of heaven. 4691 to get through to Anne Skulls. And again, like I said, this show works and has done for years because every detail is on your screen of how you get through. 4691 to get through to Anne Skulls. Our production crew are now going to keep you um, informed with who's available, what's happening, all guidance on your screen. I've very quickly just got to say a hello. Sorry, I've just got to quickly say hello to my lovely neighbour, Sarah and Leo. Hello, they've had a new baby, lovely Ethan. Um, mwah, nice to see you and nice to know you're watching. Right, let's speak to one of our at-home psychics, because like I said, it's not just about the studio psychics. It's got to be about the at-home team. So we're going to go all the way over to Thailand at no extra cost and welcome the one and only Joe. Hi, Joe. Hello, Hello, Charlotte. Fantastic. Good to have you back. Welcome Aww, back. And I so hope nice. I find you well. I really am well, Joe. Thank you so much. And thank you for your kind words. Do you know, it's so lovely to be back working with the crew, all the psychics. You're getting to chat to yourself. How have you been, Joe? Have you been well? I've been very well. I missed you. Missed Aww. you quite a bit. Um, <laughs> thank you. But I've been very well and busy. Um, oh, how sure? lovely is that? It's lovely. Well, you should be busy. You're a popular man. Um, so it's lovely to hear that the viewers are, are grabbing you when you are available. Um, I mean, tonight, Joe, it's, it's, it's one of those nights where the psychics in the studio have said that a few people might have questions on their mind. They feel like they're maybe like a, a boiling kettle waiting to explode and want to say something to somebody but maybe don't. Is it the right time? Have you found that with your clients? Do you think there's quite a lot of pressure around people at the moment? Yes, indeed. Um, um, I've actually started to sort of like um, bring this already into my readings in May. Mm -hmm. that, um, look out for June. It's going to be a month that will test you. And I do feel they now as we literally are in the last day or hours of June, mm. people really come to terms with that understanding that it is a month where you were tested on many levels. Yeah. Um, um, and it's not over as yet because it always flows over into the month to come. So the first few days of July may be still a bit challenging, but the last days of uh, the first week is already an upliftment and you literally come out of that feel of being pressurized or feeling um, the, so shall we say, um, boxed in into yeah. the situation where you find yourself at the moment, where the light shines through and you really find, ah, oh, um, I never looked at it uh, from this perspective and this is a new view, this is a new understanding, I can now make my choices um, with a new light, new vision, new insight. It's lovely, isn't it, when you kind of feel in, um, clear enough to be able to take that next step. I think when you're, when you're in that foggy state and you've got not one thing on your mind but loads of things on your mind, so what you do, you don't tackle anything and you can stay in that fog. But once it's cleared, it, it's quite amazing how light you can feel, isn't it, Joe? Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Um, and that is why I refer to the first two weeks of July being white, just as you Aww. just said, Charlotte. Um, white is always a, a beautiful color because mm. that's like walking into a room and you switch the light on. Mm. You get the understanding, you get the concept, you get the feel, you get the insight. Mm. Um, a beautiful color that comes in within the first two weeks of July. Nice. I like that. Lovely, Joe. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for explaining that. Well, how long have we got the pleasure of your company for? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, it's just after midnight in Thailand, so um, another three to four hours. I love it. You're a man on a mission as always, Joe. Nothing changes. 
um, I love what I do. Um, so you don't really look at the time, and then no. um, the next moment you realize the roosters are calling the day. Um, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Absolutely, oh and you and should then, be getting um, down to that beach. <laughs> in my yes, opinion, indeed. <laughs> yeah, um, oh. indeed, uh, lovely days tomorrow. Um, Good. If the weatherman is right. If the weatherman's right, I sincerely hope it is. Thailand's beautiful, even when it rains. I have to say. Um, now, Joe. Yes. Shall we have a look at one little question? See you in action with a little text question from one of our viewers. Certainly, thank you. Lovely, thank you. I remember what we said, Joe's with us kindly for the next approximately three hours or so. But again, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled on the monitor. I'll be able to tell you when Joe's available, as will our production crew. Why not listen up to the guidance that he's about to provide on the text, as always? Same with our studio psychics. Um, he's limited on time and, of course, televised, so it's a very public way of giving you guidance. On the phones with Joe, it will be private. You can have longer with Joe, so he'll be able to give you a little bit more time guidance. And, of course, um, I suppose, you know, that kind of extra added oomph that we want during a reading. So let's have a look at our first text question. And we'll be able to get through to Joe on 4029. Question says, unfortunately they're anonymous, but they say, when will I have contact with Mr. C and the next meeting? I'm hoping tonight, but am I on his mind and how will things go? Feelings, thoughts, any guidance and dates? Thanks, love and light. Anonymous, thank you so much for your text. Um, as I connect with your throat chakra here immediately, I pick up on the doubt that um, sits within that throat chakra. I may say this has been coming over um, a period of time. But having said that, I do feel that um, this is a moment in time where um, the the insight I feel or the connection at first, may I say, comes through for me tonight. Um, you may have connection. I do feel um, I pick up on a little bit later, 7, 7.30 or so. And then I feel um, in the later part of next week, much more contact, um, much more deeper discussions. But I feel um, the end of July is actually what you're looking for, and that is when your insight comes and um, a better understanding of your future relationship with this man. Um, I'm sorry, that is my timer. That tells me my timer sound, but I hope uh, I could bring some insight to your question there. Love and light, thank you for your text. You very much, Joe. Thank you. And yes, thank you for your question. Thank you. Um, Joe, I know it's very obvious for us, lovely. We've had the pleasure of working on this show for a while. Um, for the viewers at home who might have listened to your guidance just for that minute, might think, oh, actually, do you know what? I'd like to speak to him. I, I like the way he reads. I like how gentle he is. I like the, the kind of guidance that he provides. There is so much more freedom on a phone reading if the caller wants it. I mean, you'd agree with that? Yeah, indeed. Um, first of all, um, the call is uh, confidential and completely private, so um, yeah. it is just between me and the caller, and they can really open up, and therefore um, we can go much deeper uh, and deeper into the layers of the aura, deeper into the various layers of the chakras, and those not only tell us about the emotions, but it also brings us the vision, so I can link up with a partner, if there is a partner, um, or um, your job environment, for example, or the travel that you're going to go on. Anything that appeals to you um, does show within the aura, does show within the energies, um, the chakras, the field energies, the emotions. Um, go much deeper into those layers and bring that insight, and you can then make your choices from there onwards. Nicely put, as always, Joe. Thank you very much indeed. You know what? I'm thrilled that you're my first psychic to speak to on the phones after six months. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank, <laughs> Thank you for having you, me. And a lovely evening. For and you. you. Lots of love and light. Bye, Joe. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> The wonderful Joe available for you. He's such a sweetie. He really is. Um, I really like the way that Joe, this might be, I don't know, maybe just because of my profession, what I do, but I love the way he talks. He's very clear. Um, there's a lot of direction that Joe gives you. I think sometimes as well, it's so easy for us to maybe lose our way a little bit when so many things are going on and, and we're trying to please other people. 
it might just be a time for you now to go, okay, Joe, cool, what have you got for me? I'm, I'm feeling like this. I don't seem to be moving forward in my career. The, the person that I'm seeing isn't giving me enough commitment. I'd like to move in with my boyfriend. How can I do that? There's so many more things that Joe can give you. And again, you might just want five minutes, you know, better than a minute on the telly, right? You might just want 10 minutes. Work it out. It's up to you. It's your call. But £15 approximately for a 10-minute reading with one of Britain's finest psychics. And you're based in Thailand. Originally, you know, you've got to remember, these are international psychics. I believe that um, our lovely Joe is originally from South Africa. And um, he's a, such a lovely, lovely psychic. So do uh, grab him whilst you can. Now, talking about bundles and credit and um, uh, experiencing a phone reading that's a really good value, I mean, have a look at this. Free phone number, 0808206777. I like this. This is, it. This is very easy. It's like they've sorted things for me. She's so simple. Thank you, Miss P. I don't know if she's calling me that or the this. No, okay, fair play, fair play. Um, this is simple for us all to understand. I like this. I personally appreciate it. Five minute reading, seven pounds fifty. Ten minute reading, fifty minutes. Come on, Dial the free phone number. Grab the bundle that best suits you, depending on your question and what you want to know. And do you notice our production crew showing you these psychics? They're available for you, so you can dial the free phone number, treat yourself to these bundles, or you can just call direct, like it says, and that just means that you put on your phone bill at a later date. It's easy busy. Okay, first part of our show tonight is very, very interactive. We want to get through your texts and your voicemail messages. Charlotte Clark's up in just a couple of minutes, and she did say earlier on that she loves the voicemails. Please leave us your voicemails, and we'll prioritise those. It's 0913 pound fifty p per minute, that's it. Uh, leave us your questions. Do you know what? In fact, we're going to give you a couple of minutes to leave your questions for Charlotte as we find out a little bit more about her. Hello, Charlotte Clark. Hello, Hello lovely. First psychic off those phones. Back in the studio on a mission. <laughs> I oh, hope most so. Most definitely on a mission. <laughs> good yeah. girl, good girl. I've just had an unusual call. So oh. it's not all about um, love and work and moving. Yeah. Um, the lady just rang up. She's broken her phone, uh, oh. her mobile. And she's had this mobile for quite a few years. <laughs> I didn't like to say I think it's actually um, finished. Um, oh. But um, she, she was asking, um, she's just started dating a guy. Oh. Um, don't worry, I'm not going to let on anything, but she just started dating a guy and her phone has been kaput for the past two days. Um, and she's wondering if this guy thinks that she's ignoring him oh. and looking into what's going on around this guy. And so I just dabbled, had a look in and yeah. And she also wanted to know, will my phone leave? Um, yeah, she, <laughs> oh, bless. And so, yeah, no, it's an unusual call. I like that, though. Yeah. And again, a great example <laughs> for our viewers. I mean, if they've never had a reading before, you kind of different questions that you can get. I mean, Charlotte, once we've got a couple of minutes, I mean, I've had the pleasure of working with you for a very, very long time. And I know that you are a very well-known psychic on this show and outside of here. But for the viewers at home who might not be into the psychic world, do you mind just telling us a bit about you and, and what kind of questions that you like to deal with on the show and outside? Um, yes, um, okay. Hmm. Um, I've been working um, as a psychic with the energies for um, far too long now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it must be getting on for um, over, thir over 35 years. That's scary, isn't it? <laughs> um, I've worked over the years with many um, well-known um, psychics. Um, I jump into your energy very, very quickly. Like Charlotte says, um, I do love the voicemails because um, it gives me a direct link in. Texts are still good too. Um, I do love to work hands-free. Um, I can work with absolutely any tool, absolutely anything. I can pick up and do a reading for you. Um, I've also, over the years, mastered salt readings that came, <laughs> that used to be messy, didn't it? Um, I've also mastered salt readings that come from tea leaf readings because my great-grandmother, great-grandmother, yes, <laughs> um, used to work um, with the tea leaves many moons ago. Um, I connect in with your energy as soon as I say hello. 
Um, you don't need to tell me absolutely anything. Um, the area of work that I prefer, um, I don't think there is any area of work I prefer, um, as long as we're allowed to um, work with it. I, I am interested in helping you um, and settle your mind with whatever is um, worrying you. Nice. Thank yeah. you, Charlotte. Thank you. Um, do you know what? Uh, uh, like I said, I've, I've worked with Charlotte for many years on this show. Busy lady. Been on and off our program for, for a long time, which is lovely. Got a lot of regular clients in. Um, I echo that. You know, I think if you do have those emotional questions that you'd like to take to Charlotte, it's very easy to talk to. Gives a lot of guidance in a short amount of time as well. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to do some questions with our lovely Charlotte Clark now. Actually, no, let's just very quickly have a look at who's on the at-home team because it's nice to hear Charlotte explain about how she works and it's lovely to know that there are a whole team of psychics who could work quite similarly, quite differently. Basically, they're individuals in their own right, but they are some of Britain's finest psychics. So, if you'd like to get through, I mean, look, Hazel Lee, she's still logged on, bless her. That's a real treat for us to see. Uh, available for you, won't be for long. Hazel's a busy bunny, so pin number 3458. Let me tell you the telephone number to get through and use that PIN number. I would urge you to dial through on that number there. It's quick. Um, we've also got, oh, now there's a lot of talk around Peter Doswell. He is a psychic who's had 20 years professional experience. He works with the cards, he works with the crystal ball, um, very much looking at your energies, and he's a very popular guy. He's just finished a reading on 6444. There he is, the man himself. And you've also got Julie Dawn logged on from home. Ah, oh, Ruth Vidente as well. She's just become available. God, you're lucky. John Hanser, Sophie, we've got a Kevo and David. Really lovely team. Good time to call through. 0907 002222. Enjoy your non televised psychic readings. Right, Charlotte Clark, shall we get interactive? Oh, yes, please. Let's do it. All right, my lovely. Okay, going back to that with a few questions now uh, with our lovely Charlotte, and then you can get through to on the phones in about five to ten minutes. Okay, first text is from Ange, and she's a Sagittarius. Hello, Ange. She says, hi, Charlotte and Charlotte. <laughs> um, there's lots of changes coming in for me, but what's next? Thanks, Ange, a Sagittarius. <laughs> I think I snorted there when I was beginning. <laughs> not very ladylike. Um, <laughs> it's a Charlotte thing. It's a Charlotte thing. I can okay. echo that. <laughs> okay, as I'm jumping into your energy, Ange, and thank you so much for texting into the show. As I'm working with you, um, ooh, okay, um, I, I really feel that um, there is going to be a weight lifted off of you fairly soon. It's like, oh, thank goodness that's all over and done with kind of feeling. I also get the strong sense of um, <clears throat> wanting to get you, we're nearly enough out of the month of June, into around about the middle of July, and I get the feeling of you feeling like, oh, this is all good now, <laughs> um, is how I'm feeling with you. And I also get the feeling of you being a lot more um, preoccupied or a lot more stuff, exciting, um, happier um, times going on towards um, the latter part of July. I also wondering, are you starting a new career change or something like that? Because I really get the feeling of you being excited about starting something um, is how I'm feeling as I'm linking in with you. And, and I get the overwhelming feeling of going into August, life has completely changed in a really, really positive way. Um, I'm now being taken on zooming through this year. Um, I'm trying to see if there is anything I need to make you aware of. And I'm really feeling that all of a sudden, life feels a lot more comfortable and happier, is what I'm being given. And thank you so much for texting in the show. Lovely. Thanks ever so much indeed. Thanks, Charlotte. Um, and thank you very much indeed for your question. Lovely, Ange. Thank you. Um, please do leave us your voicemail messages. They do take priority. As you heard, Charlotte prefers them. Anne Skulls prefers them. Sky Silverstone prefers them for no other reason than just actually it makes the show a little bit more real. They like to tap into your voice energy. Um, and there's a lot more really that I think can kind of add to your reading when you leave a voicemail and they take priority. So you shouldn't be waiting long to get your voicemails through. It's 0913690 It's only £1.50p per minute and please don't be put off by that because if you just want to spend £1.50 then obviously just leave a voicemail that's 30 seconds to a minute long and it shouldn't cost you any more than £1.50p. Uh, we'll leave that there for a moment whilst you send us your voicemails and we'll prioritise those. Okay, short and sweet one here, lovely Charlotte. This is from Anne. Anne simply says, Charlotte, could I have a reading for the next couple of months? Love and light from Anne. 
Okay. Um, it's very difficult to do a couple of months in, in such a short sort of few, few seconds, minutes um, kind of thing. Or well, minute. <laughs> um, okay, but as I'm jumping into your energy, Anne, okay, um, very similar to the previous uh, vibration of the, of the other lady, um, because I, I really feel I want to say to you, pick yourself up, brush yourself off, start all over again, um, is how I'm feeling with you. Okay, have you recently come out of um, 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 a, a messy kind of coming away from somebody within your love circle? Because I, I just feel like um, I'm looking forward to new beginnings, fresh new starts. I also feel as I'm linking in with your energy, going right, right over the next few weeks or so, I feel that you're kind of more... Um, over what has occurred. I hope this makes sense um, because I really get the feeling of you've been through um, a trying time um, within um, a connection with somebody within your love circle is how I'm feeling. Um, or you've come out of something that's made you feel um, de de deflated? No, deflated. <laughs> 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 oh, I know what I mean, um, but you, you, you've come out of this, and, and I really feel that it's like um, your stuffing has been knocked out of you. That's easier um, for me to describe what I mean, um, and I feel that going over the next few weeks, um, you got yourself back together again, and, and you're kind of like, okay, um, it, it's a bit like you're testing your toe in a, in a swimming pool and testing the water, but this is more to do with other people around you and to do with um, new people coming into your life within your love circle. It feels good, more positive around Mm, still a bit further off, but September, October time, you're in a much better place within your heart and mind. Thank you for your text. Lovely. Thanks ever so much. Thank you, Charlotte. Was it deflated? <laughs> yeah, yeah. deflated, I said. <laughs> deflated. <laughs> Star. Is this all right? We've got hours to make it better. <laughs> uh, so viewers, look, this is the picture that relates to Christian Martin. He has just taken a call. If you see this on your screen, please do grab him while you can. Popular guy. And has just logged on. We've got Ruth Fidente available. Joe as well. Uh, we're joined by Victoria. Lots of other psychics. So it's a great time to call through. Charlotte, my lovely, is it all right to do one more question and then give our viewers a chance to get through to you? Okay. Perfect. Shall we end on a high and make it a voicemail? <laughs> yes, please. Let's do it. Hello, who's on the line? Hi, can I have a love reading, please? I'm the 10th of February, peak 13th of June. And to see if you're getting a little getaway soon, or what do you see for us over the next couple of weeks? We've both been busy. Thank you. Have you got any plans for us? Bye. Okay, um, oh, thank you for your voice, Mel. Um, hmm. Like Charlotte said, we can really jump into that energy. It's almost like I'm there with you. Um, and I do feel that, um, oh, okay, I get the strong feeling of somebody around you, a friend, um, close friend even. Um, get, I, I, okay, okay. Uh, um, what I'm being shown is at last minute, somebody is kind of like oh um there's a spare seat or, or i've i've got space would you like to come along i'm not quite sure if i'm looking at on a couch or or um if i'm taking flight i'm not too sure um but i do feel that around about the 26th 27th 28th of july um i get the feeling of you sort of like being excited about something not necessarily going away on those dates but i get the feeling of something should have been arranged or sorted out um, is how I'm feeling. Now, rather than waiting around for somebody to, to pop out of the world work and say, oh, I've got this space, I do feel that you also need to be making plans because I get the feeling of two um, um, holidays or you getting away, even if it's like a long weekend. Um, oh, okay. Are you anywhere near the, um, down the Kent coast? Um, because I am being shown also like um, um, a long pier, um, I'm not quite sure because there's quite a few peers um, along. Okay, cheers. And I'm also being shown an air show. Um, um, so I feel that I'm around um, Brighton, Eastbourne, that sort of way. Could be Southend because that's got um, a, a pier there too and an air show. Long and short of this is, yes, I do feel you're going away times two. And I also get the feeling of a winter break also will be there but a romantic one is what I'm being given. And thank you so much for your voicemail. Mm.
Exactly. Thanks ever so much. Thank you, Charlotte. You enjoyed that, didn't you? Get your teeth into that. Yes, yes, I, could I did. See that. Yeah. I liked it. I liked it. Um, uh, thank you very much indeed as well for leaving us your voicemail message. Do the same. You can leave us your question on 0913-690-8200. Right, Charlotte, my lovely, there's people who want to speak to you. Is it all right if we get you logged on? Yes, please. But will you join me back in about 20 minutes to half an hour? Approximately, yes. Approximately. <laughs> I like your style. Thank you, my lovely. Okay. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Cheers, Goodbye. Bye. Uh, right now, have you seen her in action? You'd like to have <laughs> a very professional, very professional. Well done. She could have been literally running off set then, but she was ready. <laughs> there she is running off set, you'll be glad to know. And going into one of our very private booths, enabling you to treat yourself to a reading with Charlotte Clark herself. I've got to say, a psychic who has um, really, really proven to be incredibly popular on our show over the last few years, on and off as well, because she's busy. I mean, I know that Charlotte has a very close relationship and has worked um, with many psychics who we would have all heard of, who has been on mainstream TV and had their own shows and things. And I think that Charlotte has a wonderful way because... It's very easy to chat to her. She's so grounded. There's a lot to be said about feeling comfortable, I think, when you're asking a psychic about your own life. It's your personal life. You know, you might be like, oh, I don't even speak to my closest friends about these things, let alone a complete stranger on live telly. It's not a televised reading. We don't, you know... <sighs> When you want to call through, you want to know that you've got a psychic in a booth privately, especially if it's a private scenario that you'd like to speak to the psychic about. I'm going to get through to the point and actually give you a telephone number so that you can be connected through to Charlotte Clark, who is now logged in. Yes, she is. Pin number 4687 and your telephone number. Probably best to call through on the 0907 number just there. 0907 005 222. And then for Charlotte, you simply enter pin number 4687. She is now logged in and available. You can see there, Charlotte is a very natural psychic, um, doesn't use any tools. I think later on might be bringing out a little treat, though, for us on the show. But she's been doing this for years. She knows her stuff. And she's got a long list of regular clients as well who choose to speak to her and only her. So grab yourself. A reading with Charlotte Clark, one of Britain's finest psychics. I'm actually friends with Charlotte on um, social media, and you'll see she always does shows all around the UK, um, a lot of live shows, stand-up events uh, um, that are very often sold out. And I think it's quite incredible that you can get through to on those phone lines for that almost one-to-one -one reading with one of your television psychics. Remember the bundles that we were talking about earlier on? Well, again, you know, you might be thinking it's one pound fifty p a minute. Oh, but I'm not sure if I want to spend that much money. Just have a five minute reading if you'd like. Spend about seven pound fifty, and then put the phone down and get on with your day. It's your choice. You can get your readings uh, right now. Okay, do you know what? We've got a lot to fit in tonight. I know that we're about to play a game with Anne Skulls. Uh, and I know as well, we're bringing in live readings, topics later on, your questions, and then the psychics on the phones. Let's give you five minutes, and only five minutes, to get through to Charlotte Clark. Let's start that clock in three, two, premature. Um, that's all I'm saying. Okay, thank you, girls. <laughs> They're working on it. The crew are going to, by 1am, you've got to stay tuned till 1am. That's going to be perfect timing. Right, less than five minutes to get through to Charlotte Clark. Not long at all. Remember, we did this earlier on the other guest psychics and they were snapped up pretty much straight away. So don't delay. 0907 005 222. And then enter pin number 4687. Less than four and a half minutes to get through to Charlotte. Uh, grab her quickly. Okay, as you do that, Right, there's no better psychic to play a game with than this lovely young lady. So why don't you go and get your mobile phones. Remember that what we're about to explain to you is going to cost you nothing from our point of view. But we do have to say that standard network charges may apply. Um, and we're going to test your psychic gift with one of Britain's finest psychics. Go get your mobile phone. And this is completely brand new to this program. So go get it, get ready with your phone, and let's find out if you're psychic. And Skulls, do you want to play a game? Oh, I like <laughs> to play games. <laughs> <laughs> I like this.
This is new to the show. Yes, Ooh. it is. Bit of fun, bit of psychic bit of fun. fun. Yeah, exactly. That's what it's about. So, and would you mind explaining? Because I've just told our viewers that standard network charges may apply, but from our point of view, it's no like one pound fifty p charge or anything. So they're ready with their mobile phones. So right. what's okay. happening? What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull three cards, okay? okay. Randomly from my deck of cards. Mm -hmm. There's one. Are they well shuffled? They're well worn. I don't know about well shuffled. <laughs> <laughs> right? Ooh. And okay. we're going to turn them over and see what we've got. Okay. So we've got the four of swords. The four mm -hmm. of swords. Yeah. Ooh, the four of cups. And the judgment card. Ooh. Right, four of swords, rest and recuperation, four of cups, bit bored, fed up, judgment card, sorting things out once and for all. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to, what's that on my card? <laughs> Somebody's had a biscuit <laughs> You can get away with that. I know, I know, I thought it was a squirrel. Um, <laughs> so what I want you to do is I want you to just take a picture of those cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you got it? There we go. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick them up and I'm going to move them around. Do you remember <gasps> that bean and an egg thing? So, right, oh. shuffle, 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 oh. shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one of them out and I'm going to put it down, face down there. And now I want you to link in, right? So if you look at the picture on your phone, any mini manimo, I want you to just tune in and link into what's the, on the other side of that card. So we had Judgment, Major Arcana, we had Four of Swords and we had Four of Cups. So how, how does it feel? The thing to do with this is how is it making me feel? If you look at each card, how does the Four of Swords make me feel? How does the Four of Cups make me feel? How does the Judgment card make me feel? Now, how am I feeling? What feeling am I going back to with this card? Ooh. And then you can text in. And I think they gave me a bit of paper to put down here. Oh. There you go. It says, which card has Anne pulled? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's proper professional. <laughs> I'm pleased to say there's no spelling mistakes in that. <laughs> they could have at least typed it up, couldn't they? And printed it out. You see, we dream up these things at the last minute. I love and, it. Because uh, we're live, we just go with the flow. It's very organic, it. this show. It's organic. organic. That's such a good organic. word. So I think of that. So organic. Right, um, so. Okay. Right, so we're ready. So, I mean, is it very, because this is, again, first time we're doing this on the programme, and it's not a £1.50p charge, so no. please don't think that, viewers, it's just standard network rates may apply, but it could be free. So all you've got to do is text your guests, so remember Anne explained from the three cards that she pulled out originally, so just text your guests, so either the judgment, four of swords or four of cups, is that right, Four of swords, yes, and four, four of cups. cups. Perfect, so pop one of those three, Leave a space, then do put your name as well, and then send it off to 87777. Our production crew will receive that in the gallery. And next time Anne joins us after being on the phone, straight away, we will tell you. You get a bit of a shout out on the telly um, as to who got it right. There's no prizes, we're not doing it for that. It's actually just to uh, test your psychic gift and your ability. And Anne, you know. You're a very feeling psychic. I know that, you're, yeah. you're, in my opinion, you're great with emotions and emotional situations. And, and like you said very clearly there, it's almost like getting your logical head out of the way to feel what card was there. Is that right? It I mean, comes from solar plexus here. Mm. And you know when somebody stands too close to you at, at the bus station, you think, hmm. You know, away. Yeah. yeah. Or somebody's walking very close behind you, and it's like, you need to stop and let them go past, because yeah. they're in your aura, they're in your energy. So all the time your energy around you is is sensing, you know, if am I, you know, a bit in danger here? Am I got to be wary? What is that that person in front of me? What do I feel? So that goes out, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you can connect there and then connect in with the rest, that's how I do it. I mean, everybody's different. Yeah. It might be that you want to just sit, close your close your eyes, mm -hmm. and say, okay, show me the card. Say to you guys, show me the card. 
and see what pops up in front of your Ooh. your eyes. It might be something symbolically connected to the card. So it might be a sword, they might show you a cup, they might show you um, the judgment card. Mm. Judge so, Rinder. Pardon? Judge Rinder. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. yeah absolutely. absolutely. I had to bring it back That's down. Good, that. That's good, that. That's good. Sorry. So, um, <laughs> or if you've got, you know, somebody that talks to you, it might be it's said in your head, okay. it might be seen, it might be felt. So, just expand your energy, just let your mind go quiet. And it's amazing, you can look at it, close your eyes, and it might pop up, mm -hmm. or open your eyes, you might, one might glow. Everybody works differently, there's no right or wrong way, it's yeah. just developing your own personal way of working with your own energy. Yeah. So, you know, a little teaching lesson there for you. Yeah, nice, and a little bit of fun, and I like the way you, you know, there's no pressure with this. No. And if our viewers want to get involved, they can do, there's no prize or anything, they get a bit of a shout out on the telly. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like you said, maybe just connecting with yourself a little bit more. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, thank you, Anne. So, listen, we're going to carry on. We're going to play this um, with Anne. When she joins us next in the studio, we're going to reveal the card that Anne pulled out. So it's one of three, the Four of Swords, Four of Cups, or the Judgment card. If you'd like to get involved, just a little game, a um, bit of a psychic development, and it's absolutely brand new and free to get involved. But we do have to say the standard network charges may apply. Just put your guess at the card. Leave a space, then put your name, send that off to 87777. Our crew receive all those details, and whoever gets it right will get a little bit of a shout out on the telly. So, before we move on to some questions with our wonderful Anne Skulls, I've got to tell you about the team of psychics who are working from home and are available. Charlotte Clark. There you go, logged on, pin number 4687, available for you. Oh, Joanna Scott, she's logged on. Uh, hello, Joe. 4601, uh, we've got Julie Dawn, we've got David, we've got Ruth for Dente, Hazel Lee's available, and Christian Martin should be finishing that reading. He's on very, very soon because he's been busy for a long time. If I were you, I'd be the first one to call through on these numbers and either enter four digit pin numbers or press number three to drop down to the next available psychic um and i know that you're very restricted on what you can say about you know your colleagues from a professional point of view because you've got your hands tied a little bit because of our rules on this show however charlotte clark i mean i'm fair to say a very very popular psychic on our show and outside of here isn't she absolutely um worked in the spiritual community in the churches mm -hmm. and does demonstrations mm -hmm. um some call it rostrum work some call it platform work depending on what part of the country you're in mm -hmm. and gives you a clue as to what she does which we can't deal with here on the show yeah. um, and very popular she is and she's been working in that way for many many years and I always think when somebody's been in the business and at that level that's testimony to them for you know people wanting to come back to them mm. um, you know keeping them busy if you <laughs> like yeah. and Charlotte's got a lovely energy she's got a real she can be sort of, she was so serious sometimes when I'm talking to her, and then she just throws a really dry line in, <laughs> and then starts right. to giggle, and it's that little bit of mischief <laughs> there. And I, I just fall about laughing, <laughs> apart from that she's got the most amazing uh, nails as well. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we do have a giggle, and she's got a dry sense of humour. But it's, it's really nice, because you know what? When we do heavy readings, our guys then come in and go, no, we need to lift this. This person needs to be lifted. So they bring in the sense of humour. And sometimes it can get quite giddy, you know. But that's depending on how low the person is feeling. They will bring that energy in to rebalance and so you will get the balance in a reading with a little bit of lightheartedness in there as well. Yeah, oh, it was really nicely put. And yeah, I completely echo that and agree uh, with what Olivia was saying there. It's very, very true. You know, she has a, she's very, very serious when she's giving her readings. Of course, there's that guidance. But like Anne said, I think just when you need it, she has a, a wonderful sense of humour. Very dry sense of humour. She's lovely. Not surprisingly, she's just taken a call. Um, thank you, Anne. Please do grab Joanna Scott. Trisha Hudson's just logged on. Uh, Jenny Dawn, Ruth Fidente, Hazel Lee, all available. So grab them. And a fantastic team, I have to say. Right. Anne Skulls. 
Should we do some work tonight and get through some questions? I think we're better at it. I think we're better, otherwise, you know, on telly, like, for 14 years, and then all of a sudden we're never to be seen again. <laughs> That's what could happen on Skulls. I don't like it. OK, so let's get cracking with a few questions. Just give us five to ten minutes with our wonderful Anne, then you're very lucky, and we'll be logging onto our phones, and you'll be able to get through to our pin number 4691. I do believe we're starting on a high, and we're going to play out a voicemail for you, Anne. Good evening, who's there? Hi Anne, can you see what's coming up for me in July please? Thanks a lot from Belinda, nice night 68. Thank you, great show. Hello Belinda, uh, let me just have a look and see what's coming up for you in July. I'll just do it week by week sweetheart and then we can see the overarching uh, things that's here. Right, okay. I want to say July is where, kind of the second week, where we're, I don't feel like, it's not like I'm going around in circles, but it's like unfinished business or things weren't resolved and things come back around again and did I learn from that and did I not learn from that and, you know, trying to move forward. But there is a definite sorting out around the second week where these thoughts are concerned. The first week she shows a lot of energy galloping out doing things meeting people action so if you remember action you're getting things done it's a good week if you want to do the decorating it's a good week if you want to go out there and mingle the relationships it's a really good week because it's very action-packed then you kind of the second week we're going mm, you know if you've just decorated didn't I have that color 10 years ago <laughs> why did I put that on there you know so there's a kind of a little question around things here but it does show you'll sort it out um, then we've got the third week where again we're action, more action. But this time I want to say the first week we're setting it up, the, th the third week we're completing it. Okay? So, but I also want to say where relationships are concerned, there's somebody here coming in, something to be sorted out, and then this man looking at you so much more uh, intensely. And I've got, uh, although it comes through as a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could even be a Scorpio, I get a water energy with this. And then everything goes quiet in the last week. So, well, it's five weeks to July, I'm gonna put you another card. Everything goes a little bit quiet. So there's a little lull here as to what's going on. And then in the week after that, we've got stability, friendship, and I do feel this person is back and we're on a nice even footing with friendship. So a little bit different, a little bit up and down, but it's about the verb, the doing word, action. Go get it. Lots of love. Lovely. Thanks ever so much indeed. Thank you, Anne. And thank you, lovely Belinda, for your voicemail message. Yes, I echo what uh, Anne said. Nice to hear from you. Thanks for being involved with the show. Uh, if you'd like to give us your voicemail messages, lovely to see Anne in action, isn't it, on the programme. Well, you could be asking her a question. You could be getting guidance from the lady herself. If you want to leave us your voicemails, it's 0913 What the pleasure of Anne's company through till one. And would you like another voicemail? Oh, I'd love another voicemail. Thank you. Thank you. That's the right answer. <laughs> Let's, <for that. laughs> Let's have a listen. So who's there? Good evening. Who's on the line? Hi. It's the uh, Libra lady. Um, just wondered what's going on with Virgo man uh, R. Um, he seems not to let me have my own personal space in the relationship at one time sort of bombarding me with telephone calls and now it's keep popping in or seems to want to be in touch with me all the time um i just need my space and wondered what was going on here thank you right okay what i feel with this gentleman is that he's in a little bit more emotionally than he's actually letting on and that this communication or seeing you is giving him a real lift to the days. And he, there is a feeling he wants more, but he's not kind of saying it. And this is one, where one of the boundaries needs to be explained in that if you let it go on, it will irritate you and then you'll not have him around. So you need to have communication as to, do you know what, if I'm not here or you don't need to ring me every day because I'm fine. He needs that reassurance. He needs to feel that you're in this relationship as well as him. Let me have a look and see. Ace of Cups, he, he, 
I feel this man is emotionally really involved with you. And he wants to be more settled. He wants things to move forward. So it's his way of making sure you don't go anywhere. Um, his insecurity, really. He's, he's obviously been let down in the past. And it's made him feel very insecure. So, but it's a little bit like, you know, um, when you have children, my children anyway, um, no matter when they, they came into my bed at night to sleep, they'd always sleep with the hand on me or the foot on me. It's like, I know where you are. So it's like he needs to know, he needs to feel, he needs to touch, he needs to speak to know where you are, where everything is concerned. So it is a very loving um, way, but it can get very oppressive. So now you need to bring in your boundaries. You just need to have that conversation that whilst you love it and you feel important, it just needs to give you a little space. Be gentle with him. Lots of love. Thanks, Anne. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks, lovely. Um, and thank you, Libra Lady, for your question. That uh, ties in very nicely to what Anne's going to be telling us a little bit more about later, about maybe if we're feeling a bit under pressure from a certain situation or relationship. About 10 o'clock, Anne's going to be able to tell us, linked to a little bit to the astrological side of things as well, which will be nice, so about the pressure that we might be feeling. So you might want to stay tuned, lovely Libra Lady. Okay, do you know what? We're going to do a couple of text messages and then Anne's going to log on to our phone. So you're lucky. Very soon you'll be able to speak to Anne Scholes behind the scenes and on televised. And in just a couple of moments, can we just get that one card out just so that we can show our, our viewers that card? Um, just to just explain whilst Anne gets prepared, um, these details. This is what we're doing today. It's a little game. There's no pressure. It's not £1.50p. Uh, so please make sure that you don't put TV at the beginning of your question. And you can get involved with it. If you want to do that, send a text to the show and pay £1.50 and let, give us a guess. But this is just for a little bit of luck. It's a bit of enjoyment and it's free. I do have to say that standard network charges may apply. Um, so please do send your guess and your name to 87777. Thank you, Anne. Feeling there, the vibes. There it is. Do, 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 <laughs> Love it. Thank you very much. What is under the card? Or which card is it? We've got a choice. Four of swords, four of cups, or the judgment card. Let us know. Get involved. Uh, Anne, my love, can we just do a couple of text messages before you log of on? Of course. Is that all right? Thank you. Okay, perfect. Here we go. Question just coming through. Um, oh, oh, crew, my monitor's playing up. I'm so sorry. It's gone. It's frozen. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, do you want me to read it? Yes, I was <laughs> saying, is this normal crew now? Yes. I don't like change, especially if I'm not told. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so Anne and Craig, just to clarify, it doesn't come up on my tablet, it comes up here as well. That's exciting. Right, sorry. All new. Um, right, Anne, I've got a question for you. I believe so. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it now. This is cool. Right, it's from a Cancerian, and they say, hi, Anne. Being observed at work, as I'm fairly new, do you see things working out in my current job or me finding something new? Thanks from a Cancerian. Okay, let's have a look and see. Remember this observation is constructive, so don't take it personally. It's obviously in order to help you to blossom in the role. And let's have a look and see. There you are, under scrutiny. Somebody's standing over you watching, okay. Right. A lot of women around you, so I don't know if you're working in the workplace with a lot of females, but there's a lot of women. Women. Right. I feel that you will be okay with this as long as it doesn't go on too long. Is it the first four months that um, you have to be observed? And I want to say uh, there are two important ladies here as well beside you. Ace of Cups tells me there's join Ace of what? Uh, swords is a clear communication coming in so i feel then the balance comes in so things are evening out so i think another month of it and there's good news in a day there's there's um good news after a month and then there's the balance so they feel that you are competent enough to do this do i see you leaving this position no not at the moment 
and I can see forward about four months with this and I do feel you're settling in quite nicely. Try not to take it as a personal thing, just know that this is for your development and it's just constructive, okay? Lots of love. Lovely, thanks ever so much indeed. Thank you, Anne, and thank you, lovely uh, Cancerian, for your question. Appreciate it, thank you. Okay, we're going to do one more question. It is from a new user, actually. Well done. Are you new to our show? Would you like to have a reading from one of Britain's finest psychics like Anne, Charlotte, um, Sky, and it not cost you anything? Well, your first reading with us is free. Uh, so please do, actually, you don't need to do anything different. Just text the letters TV. Leave a space, pop your question, uh, so they're up to 87777, and our, uh, well, I suppose the technical side of things here in the studio will link the fact that we haven't ever seen your mobile number on our programme, so we'll give you a free reading, and you'll get priority as well. So do get involved. If you never text the show, TV space your question to 87777, and you can get your guidance for free on our programme. Okay, last question. <clears throat> this is from Initial J, and they say... And will my ex try to come back to the kids and me in the future? He's in a difficult situation with the woman that caused us to end. Oh. Any guidance, please, from Initial J? Oh. Huge question. Um, mm. I tend to look at the immediate. Um, let's just have a look and see what's coming out. There you are, standing, looking to see if he's going to come back and things will be resolved. There's a bit of a balancing act going on there. Right, okay. I want to say that there's a point here where he's saying he's sorry. But does it feel like he's coming back? And I don't feel so just yet. Um, this is the difficult pathway, this is the emotions. I do feel there's the other lady beside him uh, and that is still work in progress, so this is ongoing. So in, in, a, in a sense he is moving forward, um, yeah. So, my darling, it's, it's a very difficult one. I think the thing is at the moment is to take care of yourself and to look after you and the children as best you can and work out a really good arrangement where you and the children, him and the children are concerned. Um, I think in three months time there's, a, there's a, like a moving forward in the dialogue between the two of you but I'm not seeing it as him coming back because I still see this as work in progress where this other person is concerned. So. Um, and you know what? I know at this moment in time we say, what am I going to do? Because, you know, we, we built our family, we've got children, we've got all of this, and I would have him back because I love him. But you know, as time moves on, we, we do move into different places. It's very difficult to imagine the emotion, the emotional place you will be in 12 months, two years' time, and that, that things do move, even though it's slowly forward. So, for the moment, do look after yourself, okay? Uh, and your, your family. Lots of love. Oh, thanks, Anne. Thank you. Thanks for spending a little bit more time on that as well. Um, Jay, thank you ever so much for your question. I think, you know, it's always quite hard on our show, Anne, when you, when you get a question like that, that maybe as well, personally, we can resonate to. You know, I know that you've got two lovely girls and you're a, a very independent single mother. And, you know, I guess when it comes to questions like that, there's a part of you that in a really positive way, struggles to give a minute's worth of guidance live on telly. It is very difficult and what I've learned to describe to people is that, you know, let me say, uh, how are you going to be feeling on Sunday? You can, if I ask you where you're going to be on Sunday, ah, well, I'm going to such and such a place. Mm. And who am I going to be talking to on Sunday? Ah, well, I'm going to ring my mum because I've spoken to her for ages. Mm. So you kind of put plans in. But you never put the emotion in with it because the emotion mm. is reactionary to the situation you find yourself in. Yeah. So you don't know how you... But at the moment, it's like my heart is breaking. I can't feel... You know, I, I don't want to go on without this person. Mm. I need to know he's going to come back. You know, it's the emotion of the situation. But you do not know how your emotion is going to be 
moving forward mm. and that's why I try and explain to people that at this point in time in my head it's like no I'm not listening to anything else I only know when he's going to be back I only want to know when it's going to happen and and, and we cling to everything mm. yeah which can be quite damaging in some respects because eventually if they don't come back you've always going to you're always going to hit that wall yeah so I actually sh sort of try and give guidance to people on how to deal with that journey mm -hmm. how do I deal with that even if I postpone how I'm feeling till then I know I've still got to hit that wall yeah yeah so I try and work with that into the reading so that there are things we can do to sort of strengthen ourselves um, if that you know happens absolutely no that was well explained thank you Anne and I think that's nice for our viewers to, to hear as well if they, they've never had a reading and they've maybe never seen our show I think with that in mind shall we give our viewers the chance to get through to on those yes buttons? let's Indeed. do it let's do it perfect thank you Anne. and when you come back will you bring that magic card with you it's not to me chair. Oh, uh, thing is, your top's so beautiful and patterned that it gets lost. I'll put it down there then. Okay. <laughs> put it on your sleeve. <laughs> put your card on your sleeve. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> thank you so much. That was a lovely segment. I enjoyed it. Will you join me back in about 20 minutes to half an My hour? My pleasure. You can't keep me away, oh, Charlotte. You can't good. keep me away. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> thank you, Anne. Bye. See you soon. Bye, lovely. Bye. So bin number 4691 to get through to our wonderful and remember these numbers here. Do you know I think that's so key to actually listen to what Anne was just saying there about our emotions on a daily basis and when you can look at a day and you know what you're doing but actually you don't link an emotion to it. That's so true, isn't it? But, but right now, if you're feeling a bit like jealous or a little bit unconfident with something, it's almost like that is so overwhelming, I can't think about anything else. Um, but we're always, or I always say sometimes when I'm having a bad day, I need a new day. I need a new day, another day, and it'll be fine. And very often the next day or a couple of days later, it is a little bit better. So our emotions here and now, like what are you feeling? Is it something that maybe you've been feeling for quite a long time and you're a bit done with it? You don't want to feel like that anymore because it doesn't serve you. It's not positive. It's something that maybe drags you down a little bit. Right, well, I'm going to give you the telephone number to get it through to Anne Scholes because she is now logging in and should be there any moment. So, it's 0907 double zero five double two double two, and then you can enter her PIN number of 4691. Perfect. Thank you, Chloe. She's logging in to the phone lines in one of our private booths. Right, so alongside what Anne was saying about her guidance and the emotional side of things, can we please reiterate that even though you're seeing Anne right now in that booth, if you call Anne because she's in that booth, nobody watching our show is going to actually be able to listen to your reading. It's not televised is what I'm saying. She's logged in. She is available right now. Don't waste this opportunity. She's been busy. She's going to be busy throughout the whole program. And I know lots of you are trying to get through to her earlier on. So let me give you the telephone number. The connection within 30 seconds. I love that. As somebody with very little patience. Well, it's got better, actually, since I've become a mummy. Um, it's your chance to get through to her. 30 seconds. And all you need to do is dial through here. It's 0907 005 2222. And press her pin number 4691. You might like the way that she works on the screen. You might have even had a text reading from the lady herself. And you'd like to have a little bit more than just a minute publicly on the show great well done i know you're calling through so now all you've got to do is enter a pin number of four six nine one um i do is this right actually crew that um we might need to check this we might need a couple more minutes but um i don't think Anne's back in until the end of next month is that right i'm pretty sure you see i think i think she's not in until the end of next month so i'm talking about three to four weeks until she's back in i could be wrong but I'm pretty sure that she's not back in till, um, yeah, three to four weeks. But anyway, get dialing. Uh, 0907 005 2222 and then enter her pin number 4691. Right, let's welcome our psychic astrologer who, if I'm honest, I always worry when she's in that booth because I question whether she's ever going to come out because you guys don't let her have a breather. You constantly want phone readings with her. Well, who is it? 
It's our gorgeous Sky Silverstone, of course. Hello, hey, Sky. Charlie. Hello. Hello. You yeah. look so well in that seat, honestly. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm really enjoying it, Sky, I have Are to you? say. Oh, oh you yeah. will. It's time away from... Yeah. Which is great to have that time with baby, but exactly. it's nice to be away as well. Yes, and have yeah. adult conversation. Yeah. yeah, just don't go goo goo ga Goo 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 I'm joking. Don't, seriously, don't tempt me. Oh. I spent nearly six months just having baby oh, talk. <laughs> so, um, Sky, my love, you started the show off on the phones. You're constantly busy on our programme. It's crazy. Busy lady outside of here, though, aren't you? I mean... We're mm -hmm. lucky to be able to have you on the programme, seeing as you, you've got a lot going on internationally. Yeah, every summer, around about May, June, July, August onwards, and, and at the moment, July, I'm not going to be around for about two to three weeks oh. now. This is my last show, because I, I'm going to be working a lot in Spain, as well as my surgery in New York as well. So I, I've got to see to the private readings and mm. you know private readings or as in outside of the show it's lovely being on the show that's where you I think you're you're free to do whatever you want say what you what is really coming through but we have you know it's a different energy being on the show mm. but but I think my private clients they they want to stay my private clients because there's so much f openness and freedom mm -hmm. with regards to those readings but yeah, I'm going to be away a lot working over, and I love it. I do love it. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm one of these these people that I, I find ch I do need change, I, I, you know, within my work from as in the travel is changed, and also I'm a personal trainer as well. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I, uh, so this is my last show for about three weeks now. All right, my lovely. Well, thank goodness we've got you in um, tonight. We've got the pleasure of Sky's uh, coming through to 11 o'clock this evening. So if you would like to book your readings in, then there's a free phone number on your screen enabling you to speak to our reception team. Might be an idea. I've got to say, you know, oh, I haven't been in the studio for five months, and it's um, Sky's always a busy bunny on to last year, but I know this year as well she's inundated with regular calls and new callers who want to get through to on our program so please if you'd like to book in your reading we've only got sky through till 11 o'clock sky my lovely i know that you're very kindly going to be telling us a little bit more about the astrological things we're going to hold on to that yes. till about 10 because you've got plenty of questions so do you mind if we just spend let's this segment getting interactive yeah let's do it perfect thank you my lovely great we get to see our lovely sky in action and then give us 10 minutes you can get through to her on those phone lines okay here we go let's bring up our first question shall we start on a high sky and make it a voicemail absolutely let's do it yeah out who's there good evening who's on the line hi sky it's catherine i'm 29th of january 72 um it's already been a long week this week and i've still got two more days to go i was just wondering can you give me a forecast see what the rest of this week holds and next week um currently training new member staff who's like training a flea doesn't want to be everywhere but where i'm at <laughs> and um oh just work in general it's um finding it frustrating <laughs> Whatever you get, much appreciated. Thank you ever so much. Take care. Love the show. Bye. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Lovely to hear your voice as always. And the first voicemail of the show, it is lovely to hear that voicemail being yours. Now, you are not the last. You, you are one of many that has said the same thing. It's been a long week already. I think I remember v versions of that sentence being said in our own brief today, just before we came onto the show. It's been a long week already, and that is partly due to the astrology that's going on. What I'm being shown here for you, although this week does present to you a challenge, this is a card of difficulty and challenge, but it's also the card that says things are moving on. If we look at the bigger picture, and the guides know that I have a limited amount of time, so in one card they are bombarding me with energy regarding you to say, although it's a challenging week, it does bring you results in a really good way. Getting there is going to be difficult and challenging. And I feel that I just want you to grit your teeth and deal with the week. It's a lot of emotional uh, energy going on in our minds at the moment because of the planetary action going on in this astrological sign of cancer, which is all about our psychic intuition, our emotions, our feelings, that which is hidden, which is not to the surface. It's all being riled up 
with sun, the sun, Mercury and Mars being in the sign of cancer at the moment. Now, what I want to say is you're moving on from that place of work is what I'm being given clearly here. So, do what you need to do. You've got two very, very strong cards about moving on. Eight of Cups it's leave, it is, a, is, a, is a message that is, I'm leaving it all behind and I'm moving on to uh, greener pastures. And this first card that came up is, is, is a powerful card of moving on from your present situation. The week gets easier as we get through to the time of Thursday and Friday. So tomorrow, a little bit easier on Friday, a lot more calmer and more peaceful in your mind. But eventually you're leaving that place anyway. So there you go. Thank you, Catherine. Nice. Thanks, Guy. Thank you very much indeed. <gasps> wow. I always worry that Sky's going to turn blue when she's giving <laughs> Guy because she gives you so much and doesn't breathe. Do you remember those days, Charlotte, <laughs> where I all of a sudden remember I've really gone over the yeah. lid and I'm quickly really in and, I, and it's so obvious. <laughs> and you're like, I'm going to go. <laughs> yeah. you made me aware of that I thought I've got to stop doing that you it's know? really it's quite endearing actually <laughs> it's because you get so lost in the reading yeah. and giving it and giving the guidance you're like oh my god I've definitely gone about three minutes on this one <laughs> shh let's get, let's just, let me get away with it it's fine yeah. right so Catherine thank you for your voicemail I liked the way you worded that and that was great as well because you gave Sky your name you gave her your date of birth um, and the specific question I sincerely hope that the, the person that you're trying to train uh, becomes easier but it was lovely to hear Sky saying that it's looking a little bit brighter towards Friday okay let's crack on more questions another voicemail for you Sky all righty hello who's there hey there this is a message for the lovely Sky please hi Sky could I please have a reading around the love area is there anyone around me any details or timings you could give me um, X has moved on and time for me to do the same. Thank you. Bye. I'm Scorpio. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Scorpio. What a lovely energy. Thank you so much for your voicemail. Be mindful, especially for Scorpios, because you're a water sign. You are going to get that kickback because your fellow water sign has got a party going on in it at the moment with the Cancerian energy with the Sun and the Mercury and, Mercury and Mars in there at the moment. So it's going to make you more, the word they give me is contemplative. It's going to make you more thoughtful about where your life is going. But be mindful, we don't want to verge towards where your life isn't going. We don't want to think about those things. We want to think about where you would like it to go. And I do feel here you have got a new partnership coming in. And I, I'm going to say that this person has got overseas connections. They show me waters abroad here. Um, and this is going to be brought in very strong card here of above, uh, which is to say that these are forces to do with energies that work uh you know, spiritually with us. This is a higher energy uh, looking down on planet Earth. And when I get this card, it's my guide saying to me, leave this to us. They don't always do that. Relationships aren't always put together by forces of above, by our guides. Some relationships are blessed to be put together. So this is somebody being brought in for you and being uh, put with you because of what you've already been through. Don't know what that means, but I'm, I'm just going to say that. That's what my guides are saying. And I feel that this is somebody who's meant to be with you. You are going to have a uh, victory with your love life area. And I feel this is somebody who I felt right at the beginning of this reading who's got water content in their chart as well. So either they are a water sign or this has got nothing to do with anybody you know already. This is the future. All right, so if there is someone around you who has water sign energy or has a water sign, astrological sign, then I'm saying no, it's not anybody that you know. This is somebody brand new. They've got a part of their astrology, which is water. And I feel that they've also got a strong fire sign energy running through them. So it's not so much about being all water. There's, there is this go get energy as well. So I feel this is the new person being brought in. It's going to be brought in at the right time, right place, and it's going to be brought in by your guides. I'm going to leave that with you, love and light. Thank mm. you. Wow, fascinating. Thank you, Scorpio. Thank you, Sky. Thank you, my lovely. Um, appreciated. 
Okay, we're going to do three more questions with Sky. Then it's going to be your chance to get through to Sky on those phone lines. Again, you can book in your reading and speak to our reception team on that free phone number. You might want to call through on the free phone number to grab Charlotte Clark, who's just finished a reading. Um, I have been told as well by our crew that we've got to stick to a bit of a tight schedule tonight because we've got a lot of great things to fit into our programme, along with your questions as well. Um, so we're only going to give you a couple of minutes, okay, to get through to Charlotte. Do grab her quickly, 4687, dial through on those main numbers there. Shall we prove that she's available and she's not talking to one of you lovely viewers? Charlotte Clark, can you hear me? I can. I just had a bit of trouble trying to stick it in my ear, but I can hear you now. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worse than that. There's so many things I want to say there, Charlotte, and I'm going to be so professional. <laughs> <laughs> so, Charlotte, my darling, I've been told that one lucky viewer is um, able to have one more call with you. Oh, excellent. Yeah, just one more reading with our lovely Charlotte. So, uh, we'll leave you to it, my darling. We'll see you back in the studio after your call. Thank Bye. you. <laughs> um, uh, we don't want to keep her for too long because busy, busy lady, our lovely Charlotte. So, do get dialing 0907-005-2222. Enter the PIN number 4687. An incredibly well-known psychic, Charlotte is, has a, a lot of work outside of Psychic yeah, Today, Psychic Now, and um, tours as well. There's a lot of shows across the UK. Okay. Should we do three texts, Sky? Let's do it. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's lovely tea and cake. Oh, I've, I've hello. missed some of these names and people. Oh. Hello, lovely. Oh, bless you. And show your wonderful colours at both interviews. And I do feel, it feels to me, very quickly, this is a card of swiftness. They bring that in to say to me that if she puts the work in at the interviews, uh, then uh, this is going to be offered to her. That's what the cards say. I'm going to leave that with you. Go and shine, young lady. That's what I want you to do. Thank you very much for getting involved with the show. Oh, lovely. Thanks ever so much, Sky. Thank you. Tea and cake, lots of love to you. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Okay, let's go get through a couple more questions. Give us probably just under five minutes for your chance to get through to Sky. Do remember again, Sky's with us through till 11 o'clock. Only 11 o'clock. She's not with us through to the end of the show. She's a very busy lady. So if you'd like to book in your reading, 0808206777. Oh, these, all these names and even the dates of birth I remember. It's really sad and I need to get out more. So this is from Lolly. Hello, lovely Lolly. Um, oh, she's the 12th of March, 1971. Says, hi, lovely Sky, and welcome back, Charlie. Thank you, Lolly. Could I have a love reading, please? What do you feel is ahead for me? Thank you. Love and light from Lolly, 12th of March, 71. Lovely Lolly. I mm -hmm. think it's you, Charlotte, bringing them back. <laughs> oh, oh, and I've not seen her for a while. Oh, bless. I hadn't heard some tea and cake in ages. No? And, oh, now that's have, lovely. and Lolly as well. Lovely Aww. to have you back. Oh, let's have a look. <laughs> What's ahead for Lolly? And Lolly is a Piscean. Love, relationships, emotions. Where are we going with Lolly? And, oh, hello, completion is on its way. Now, Ten of Pentacles, I love this card. Whatever question you ask as the viewer, this card says it's got a cherry on it and it's on its way. This is, in some decks, shown. And, you know, the picket fence. And, to and, and this is my favourite. Um.